They have to use like people like me or G-Man in order to present themselves off a little bit of funny because they, once in a while they say some clever thing. They, they, Because you're dreaming. Like that. What's up, I'm guys? Sorry. We are live, by the way. Are we live? Yeah, now we're live. Hi. Hi. What's How up, guys? He said, link him to the stream. Link oh, to the stream. man. I got to do extra work. Nick, <laughs> Stop making it work, Nick. Uh, yeah, we are going to be joined by uh, Wizard of Cause, Nick. So. Quite possibly. Yeah. It's not a definite. He is kind of a flake. He's been drinking. <laughs> anybody who knows Wizard of Cause or, you know, Nick Garoff at this point, if he's been drinking, you know it's it's a heart, maybe. Yeah. I am sending out the links to our usuals that want to come in and shit. And uh, is this going to be kind of political today? Because, I mean, uh, of course. Uh, no way. No. Uh, look what we're doing today. Show so we covered. Where's the booty hole at? Put the booty oh, hole on Brand's well, eyebrows twenty twenty. Hold on a second. Uh, I'm sorry, Wilson said Brand's eyebrows twenty twenty. Um, Fuck yeah. Here I go ahead. Which and... ones? Which ones? Oh, Veep. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Let me grab that from the other one because I tend to forget it. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. There it is. But uh, we again, just like in 2016, we covered it and. Why not now? So, yeah, why the fuck not, right? I'm not exactly sure if we're gonna know exactly tonight, because you know Probably again, not. Yeah. yeah, but you know we can get a general idea like, oh shit, these this guy is in the lead right now, and I am getting my source from Yahoo. Uh, Yahoo. Um, I don't know where anybody else is. It updates that like every 30 seconds. So right now, Joe Biden. Let me just go ahead and share the screen so people can fucking see. Uh, let's do let's do this one. I just have a uh, Google and ABC up. I had a friend just message me, losing his fucking mind, saying that Biden just won Texas. He it Texas right now it's ah, god damn it's close. It, yeah, it's close now. So, um, uh, Nick wanted to know mm -hmm. uh, if he came along, if uh, Jables could come along. Yeah, send a link out to anybody. So, okay, <laughs> it's, it is like not like exclusive. So, tis open today. Yes, because I do want to hear from well, you guys. I, I don't know if you've spoken to Jables before, but he's he's a good dude. He's he's solid. I could vouch for him. Apparently, I did, and I totally forgot. So, no offense. <laughs> so, yeah, I know. Like, I missed I, you. I talked to I a lot of people. I missed you that day after he said, like, hey, Frank messaged me a while ago asking if I wanted to come on. I was like, uh, I don't know dick about that. Yeah, let me message him. <laughs> yeah, like. You're we like, yeah, sure, like a week or two, sure. And I'm like, uh, okay. And then I forgot to about it. <laughs> uh, legit, sometimes I message. 
Bank Manager Fun Shit. 2020. Forgot to take it off so it didn't sound so robotic y. Um, so I, sometimes I message a lot of people that I think would be good for the show, and sometimes they don't get back, or I totally miss it. If I do, please, if I message anybody, if I forget it, or I don't message back, please message, bug the shit out of me. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Um, most likely, I'm going to feel like the dick. So, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. So, uh, again, like right now, Tet with the Tets is, uh, where is it at? There it is. Um, 49.6 for Joe Biden and Donald Trump is 49.1 with 57. So this state and this state is going to be the one to watch tonight. So this, these, these, these have been going like back and forth, blue and red, blue and red. So, but yeah, it's, it's pretty fucking amazing seeing a, uh, at least lightly, uh, tinted blue Texas. Right. Oh shit. Connecticut went blue. Imagine my fucking surprise. Imagine my surprise when South Carolina went red. Uh, like South Carolina, he, he like, he fucking, he, he won that state. <laughs> Oh yeah, he trounced so, here. Yeah. So, who, who would surprised. have ever thought that would happen? As as a as a uh, resident of the fine state of South Carolina, I for one am shocked. I'm bald too, but you know, it's, it's whatever. Um, so, I'm trying to finish fix my fucking lighting issues. God damn it! Why am I so white? North Carolina is kind of close. But Joe Biden's actually taking in the lead because I just seen someone, uh, Mr. Garrison said he'll get North Carolina too, which like I actually, <laughs> I really like Mr. Garrison's uh, account today. <laughs> it's funny, but um, well, yeah. can we talk about something that has already? I, I believe it's been confirmed. I think he even had his victory speech earlier. That uh, Mitch McConnell, he's gonna be hanging around some more. Ah. Uh, yeah. Good so, good times, right? Good times. Good he's times. he's withering away though currently. Like there are some images floating around and some video of him like he looks like he's mummifying. Getting his hand uh, like turning his, black almost. Yeah, like his his hand turned black. He's got these weird bruises and like bandages popping up all over his body, so I don't know. He he maintains he has no health issues, but at that age, you <laughs> yeah, are a health okay. issue. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you are a walking health concern. <laughs> I am like really closely watching uh our state senate cuz it's between Lindsey Graham and uh can't Jamie remember his, Harrison. Yeah. Um from so I'm not exactly sure where that's at. Let me see if I got your It's we, we actually here in our state, our, our Senate race is very much like the presidential race. Oh, yeah. Because on one hand, you have Lindsey Graham, who, let's just be real, he's just got to fucking go. And on the other hand, you have Jamie Harrison, who is your, like, standard, you know, paint-by-numbers corporate Democrat. Which is like, okay, I'll take that guy. So it, it, it is very, I, I wonder how many uh, Senate races actually did mirror the presidential election since, I mean, it is, it, it, it's obvious the, uh, the, the, the front man of the Republican Party has taken a different approach. Yeah, let me see, because I remember, I want to see if um, 35-8, which apparently I didn't know this fucking existed. Um, what do you mean, 538? Five. What did I say? Did I say something? I, probably I don't know. I think you got some of those numbers back. Maybe I heard you <laughs> well, wrong. Well, it's kind of like our uh, conversation earlier. I meant speech to text, but said text to speech, which makes no <laughs> fucking sense. Um, While telling us why the previous text didn't make sense. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So i uh, trying to find it. I don't know where you can find this shit at, but... But yeah, so um, yeah, so we're gonna continue to see Mitch McConnell uh, melt. <coughs> One, oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Senate, Senate. Uh, we are taking the Senate or Democrats. I'm gonna, well, I say we. Democrats are taking the Senate. There's about forty two to thirty. Like we yeah. say, we like oh, that's yeah. us. <laughs> um, that's Totally in, in line with my political ideology. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a I'm not a leftist or anything. No. <laughs> oh my God, Harrison was in the lead, but he uh, Lindsey Graham's so, kind of taking it. 
Yeah, that's what I was about to say. It, it looks like it looks like the inevitable is happening. Yeah. And honestly, th there was a glimmer of hope for Jamie Harrison. There was a lot of money being poured into his uh, campaign. They had an interesting, um, I'd say, underhanded way of trying to uh, get some votes off Lindsey by uh, promoting the Constitutional Party uh, guy who had dropped out, but not in time so his name would be off the ballot. Ah, Blitzer. So they actually tried to yeah, they actually tried to siphon some votes away from Lindsay uh by promoting Bill Bledsoe. But I I don't, you know, I don't even it's South Carolina. I don't I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know. I think that kind of bit him in the ass because Lindsay kind of used that against him. It's like, "Hey, oh, why are you why are you being uh untruthful here?" And it's like, "Oh, fuck, you shouldn't have done that." Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah, that was his retort back to, because I, I know Harrison was like, yeah, you told us to keep you accountable for all the lies. He was like, what about this Bledsoe thing? And it's like, yeah. damn, he fucked you up. Yeah, um, yeah, and, and getting uh, Amy Coney Barrett through here at the last minute, I'm sure that won him over with a lot of the residents of our state. Yeah. State's been called for Trump already. For Trump, Louisiana, Nebraska, North Dakota, South Dakota, and Wyoming. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I think these are already... That's my sentiments which is, exactly. Just bleh. Which is weird because it shows different numbers here. Like, it says Donald Trump winner with a 47.3, but Joe Biden lost uh, the votes and just not coming in yet. Oh, what is it? The uh, is it the difference between popular goes, vote yeah. and electoral? That I don't know, because this was actually showing different, but then it. Oh. Yeah. But you can see here, like it says, oh no, now now it fits itself. Never mind. Just me can't work technology. Come on, yeah. what's up? Like, what's happening, family? What's happening? Uh, we're just uh. Watching the the impending dumpster fire go down. <laughs> oh boy! Yeah. Oh man! Well, I'm in Alabama, so I knew I knew that, that was red. I didn't, it wasn't no way. Even if I voted ten times, it, it was they still wasn't. <laughs> I, I feel that you was there, man. So fucking unfortunate, considering like the the large amount of black population in the South. Like you think right. you would think it would do better, but <sighs> well, it was like. We were talking about it in uh, Discord earlier. Uh, Florida has a large, like, you know, Hispanic. Like, it's, it's, well, but they, they, got, they have the Hispanic population. They got the Cubans and the Venezuelans. Right. And, right. But, uh, you know, it's like, you think, like, all the shit that he would say. But, like, you know, I don't like that. Nope. nope. And yeah. my hometown. You, Look you, at that. You'd think that, that, you know, literally any person immigrating into the United States would hate this motherfucker, but... No. I mean, <laughs> the, 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 what, the stereotypical line of kids in cages just didn't do it for these people, you know? Oh okay, what, what's the pink <laughs> in that shit? What's the pink and the blue for, y'all? I'm not sure. Uh, pink? Okay. It's, uh, it's leaning toward Trump, are, are the pinks. Yeah. Yeah, but Texas leaned toward blue though. Texas, Texas? yeah, Texas is, yeah. Texas. Oh wow. I'm just Dude. saying, like, <laughs> I, I, this What's is all I'm gonna is? say. If if Biden somehow manages to lose this election, which would be like, amazing. That oh oh for sure for certainly, if, if that happens. I, I'm just I'm, I'm done at this point. Like, so what you know, is that, right? About to emigrate. What does it look like so far? What's the what the? Well, so far with the electoral votes, Biden's in oh, okay. the lead with 119. Great. Yeah, uh, Donald Trump oh, okay. is 92. Uh, okay. Donald Trump is uh, in the lead Trump's with popular the popular votes, vote. Yeah. Yeah. But Biden's actually yeah, keep with the it a buck. I, I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with y'all. I ain't like neither one of these motherfuckers. I'm with you. No, I'm I am totally with you. Yes. But, <laughs> yeah. I, I We're definitely on the lesser of two evils right now. Oh, yeah. always, that's, that's, right? We did that shit last. Last, you know. Well, we tried. Just, we tried. The time before <laughs> that, and the time before that. Exactly, and, and I'm just sick of this. You, I'm like. United States, this is the United States of America, and you motherfuckers mean to tell me that this is the best we got? 
th this is why I wish more people would stay involved with the political process throughout the year. Like this was my whole salty boy right? segment the other day. Like if people would stay involved and up to date with what, what actually is going on in in the country and the world at large around them. Local and politics. New, exactly. Pay, like pay attention to your local politics. Like right. pay attention it's to important. primaries for fuck's sake. Right. You know, no one votes in primaries anymore. It's, it's insane. This Fucking is why nobody. we get people like these two. Is because, you know, these old motherfuckers are the only ones voting. That's how you end up with a state like mine. I'm up here in Connecticut where, like, the entirety, like, a good portion, like, granted, with, like, our senators and our representatives right now are Democratic, which, you know, I'm not necessarily entirely on board with. But, like, it's it's better than the alternative in some cases. Uh, like, our local Republican governments tend to be overwhelmingly as i just said republican like my town the one that i live in has had the same republican motherfucker for almost the entirety of his life at this point his dad was the one before him like like local politics here in connecticut is republican at this point largely be, be like because nobody votes in local elections we had somebody who was voting on a very like bernie ticket in the democratic side for the last like mayor election here in in my town and it still overwhelmingly let, went to the, the the nepotism guy hey is it me or does it seem like it's fucking one o'clock in the morning like is it me like it seems like the, where are the, you well i'm in alabama but it's still okay so you're on eastern time right yeah, it just seems like. Are you? Yeah, no, it's it's nine twenty. It's not. It's. Yeah, we're used to it being ten twenty. Well, it's eight. It's eight twenty right now, but I mean. Okay, so you're you're an hour before us. Uh, you're used to it being nine twenty right now. Right. It's so like <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I Today the just echo seems like Grampy. it's later. Bet that Billy voted for Kanye. Yeah, he, he did. He did comfort talk. I'm just kidding. He didn't. It just seemed like uh, it seemed like it's later. And my body is like just, I'm tired, and I don't it know just why. Feels like it's later. I'm with you today. on that. Yeah, yeah. I had motherfuckers calling me like, "Come on, you got your, you got your, you got your ammo ready, man. You got plenty of ammo. You got your, uh, your food." I'm like, "What the fuck is y'all talking about, man? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that you think serious." Pop off what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, I gotta get my ammo and all this shit. What's the well, have, you seen, about? have you seen like the White House right now? The White House has actually been like has a wall around it. Fence, a fucking okay. Is it a wall? Is okay, it a fence? listen. They listen. shut listen. down like a lot of parts. Okay, of the so this <laughs> wall. I took a look at this wall. I could climb that. Oh yeah. Hell, I, I could climb, climb that. from my fucking chair. <laughs> <You know what? laughs> I know people who yeah, use the parkour and people who still do. Like, yeah, but you we would can get, get shot over that as soon shit. as you well, got yes. to the top. Yes. And now you're an easy target too, because you're yes. just sitting on a fence. And it's living Naturally. dangerously. But that's that's the reason why you go in the middle of the night wearing blue. <laughs> I'm waiting to Don't see our Canadian black. immigration Don't website work. crash again. Thank you, No Direction. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All I can say is I watched a certain Kentucky fucking Hill Rats video on Facebook at 2 o'clock this morning. If Biden wins, it'll literally turn into Half-Life 2. And <laughs> the echo is fucking me up. Yeah, I'm, where's that echo? Is that from me or what? Sure. I'm not hearing that because anybody else in like I the blame Grampy. I, it didn't start until no, he came in. No, I was hearing it before I came in. Sure. Oh, no. Oh, Brett Suspect. King, by the way. I'm waiting to see the Canadian immigration website crash again. Yeah. I heard Billy voted for Kanye West. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I believe it. I actually voted for Cobes. Because, say what you will, that dude tells as it is, and he's going to need a new house. I saw Billy, uh, I saw Billy talking to Vaughn. I watched that whole video. Billy, you handed that motherfucker his ass. I mean, <laughs> on oh, the stolen value, you fucking asshole. What the fuck was he talking about? 
the cadet. He some kind of cadet. The Naval Sea military Cadet service. Corps. It's the Naval <laughs> Sea Cadet Corps. Don't you know anything? Oh my god. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> fucking time in service, man. Because junior high Navy uh, Navy Boy Scouts, man, fucking matter. So that means that when I was in high school, when I was in uh uh, when I was in high school, ROTC, that, that service took the fuck out of here. Well, Carl, <laughs> let me ask you this. Can you be a veteran of the Cold War? No, you fucking no. can't. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but no. come on, if, listen, if you've listen. not seen Schneider, if you've not seen Schneider Handyman's newest video about Vaughn's Facebook feed, he refers to himself as a Cold War veteran. Yeah, See, his, <laughs> his, his 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 training in psychological torture, is psychological warfare, is more motherfucker. than actual people with rifles. That's true. The fact that the fact that this motherfucker kept trying to uh, defend this shit was was is what was angering me the most like he was trying his best to defend this shit billy was was basically bending his ass over and banging him hard and he still was i'm still taking it i'm gonna like, shut the fuck <laughs> up <laughs> shut up and well, then billy billy takes it pretty hard himself sometimes and then this, wait y'all hold on yeah, this is uh, another thing that fucked me up about this guy why don't he get some teeth? Uh, he has the smallest mouth in the state of Kentucky. Please, somebody tell me how he lost his teeth. Now, I heard what? a story. If this is fucking true, dude, I'm, 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 I'm done. <laughs> I heard the motherfucker. Uh, let me tell you what I heard. The motherfucker was born with vampire teeth or some shit, and his parents had to take him out. Is this true or false? There is an actual, like, Medical thing where people can be born with an extra canine. Wilson, you're bouncing around. <laughs> the way he claims it is like his canine teeth were like four inches long. Yeah, all right. So his parents had had them yanked, and those teeth were anchoring all the other teeth. So all the other teeth just fell out. Well, that, that and the and, floor and, and the, the fluoride floor. in Hamilton on Hamilton, Ohio. That guy, that motherfucker has done more shit. In his life, he was a fucking orderly for 15 years. He 14. was a fucking something else, but, but he rescued children for 10 years. He did that. I mean, this motherfucker has done everything. I'm like, man, he I mean, he is stories for his grandkids. Oh, he was the inspiration for the character of the around. Punisher at nine years old. Yep. He helped invent rap, too, by the way, Kamal, just putting that out there. He what? <laughs> he helped invent rap music. Yeah, I bet he, he did. He was one of the first DJs for a rap group in <laughs> Detroit, Michigan. Because yeah. I I can totally see Vaughn going to fucking Detroit. Yeah, he can't I, handle fucking Cincinnati, but you're gonna go to fucking D Town. Right. You bring your ass to Detroit, you are gonna get ran up out of there. No, nah, he wouldn't get ran up. If he go downtown, he hang around and white with the right people. He, He'll get he robbed, wouldn't. fucked, and left in an alley. <laughs> <laughs> robbed, uh, robbed, fucked, and left in an alley. God damn. That's a bad day right there. I never met the sister, man. What's her name? Anna, where'd she go? I, where'd she go? Yeah. I never... I never really met her before. I've must watched her. She's funny as hell. She must have to dip out for something. What's your name before she come back, y'all? I'm I'm being embarrassed because I, I didn't heard her name a thousand times. I can't remember. <laughs> her name is Nancy. Her name is Nancy. <laughs> her name is Hale Bitch. I'm not calling her Nancy, bro. <laughs> hey Nancy. She's gonna be like, who the fuck is he talking to? Her her name is Karen. Karen, okay. <laughs> Karen, okay. So who who winning tonight, y'all? Or, or will we find out to, tonight or tomorrow? No. We'll probably, no we'll, probably we'll probably see who is in the lead by the time everybody kind of dips out. Oh, shit. Biden just won at 122. Um, but as far as finding out who is, I mean, it's always kind of the same thing. Like, we, you don't find out till this morning. Right. Um, 
So. See, I get the feeling that it's going to be like fucking Gore versus Bush all over again. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That shit was... I just knew Gore won that shit, bro. I, I went to bed. Well, he, he did. I mean, but... Yeah, nah, he did. Yeah. He did. But I, I, I just... When I when they said Bush, I was like, fuck. Are you serious? Nancy said so, she had to make a phone call. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna I'm not oh, I'm gonna go to bed. Then I'm gonna wake up in the morning and then I'm gonna go outside and nobody's gonna be out there and it's gonna be like uh the civil war <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just slept through it. Let's see. I hope I hope but I actually did see people saying dumb shit like, well, if if he wins, if if Biden wins, then they know that they know it was some bullshit. And so that that's the you know, we're gonna start the civil war like that. I'm like, man, any I got any soldier who's ever seen any any soldier or marine who's ever seen war doesn't ever look at that shit. Look at any that. soldier or marine who's ever seen combat doesn't ever want to see combat. Yeah, again. the Cold that War. Looks, I, the I, wall I, around I, the the wall around the White House that looks like something a draft dodger would do. I remember when you could like pretty much walk up to the White House. Um, that's defense, huh? Wow. Yeah, I think that's what they put up. And. Hey, a hey, Pinto would go through that. I, I've, I've, <laughs> hey, uh, yeah. Frank, I, I, have, I have a question. Okay, I last time Trump won by electoral votes, but yeah. lost the popular vote. Okay, yep. this time he's, according to this, he's uh, ahead by the popular vote, but behind in the electoral votes. Yep. Now, so I want to see what loses, will happen. Yeah, oh, so shit. if he looks, is he going to change his mind on the electoral college? If right. the electoral college elects, is he going to like all of a sudden, you know, declare that that's? I mean, I'm I'm not a big fan of the electoral college to begin with, but um, yeah. So I, you know, shoe on the other foot this time. I wonder what'll happen. Maybe. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I was thinking that shit too. Like, you won the uh, Hillary won the popular vote, and you you said she lost. So now, what if it? What if the shit? What if the shit happens to you? I, I can't wait. I, I I mean, I just want to mm. see. I want to see how he's gonna act. See, I'm watching right now. Like, of course, the big states like Texas, Florida, and uh, California. California hadn't even posted up anything. But uh, wait a minute, Texas has been going been red to blue, red to blue all damn night. Texas have been. Yeah, it, it yeah. Went, went. It's red now. So. Oh. Oh. Okay. So. Like, Texas is a weird state. Like, they have a lot of cities that, like, Houston is fairly, like, conservative, but then you have cities like Austin, which is, like, super-duper liberal. Right. Like, Michigan, like, I'm just both of my, both of my, my hometown and my fucking, my, my, I, well, I knew Alabama. I knew what time that was, regardless, you know, but. Of course you do. Michigan. I kind of thought, well, maybe, but mm, I don't know. It looks like uh, Major Marjorie Taylor Greene, a QAnon, QAnon supporter, is heading to Congress. Yeah. yeah. Well, Rhode Island went blue this time, so I'm happy. But, <laughs> you know, we've always had nutty fucking people in, in Congress, you know, uh both sides of the aisle, you know, there's some really eccentric, strange people. But some of the people that are getting in Congress now, like this QAnon people, we got science deniers, we've got, uh, I mean, it's not going to get any better, folks. Science uh, deniers? It, How the fuck can you deny science? Because, because they're, people are fucking stupid. Because yeah. they, they take the Bible literally, you know? Okay, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, the thing there's no evidence for? Yeah. Right. Did y'all see the complete... I had a conversation with G Man the other day? Uh, uh, you you yes, tried, yeah. man. You you I tried did. you tried I talking did. reasonably to a man that cannot be reasoned with. Right. I did. I did. I wanted to and to be honest with you, I it kind of I wanted to talk about the whole uh 
liar versus pedophile thing. And it kind of, but I, it didn't get to it. And then he said he wanted to holler at Todd. So I, I guess he, he kicked me out. I don't think so. I think he pushed me in to put me in the back room and I didn't know. I thought he kicked me out. Like I, I didn't know what, I, I don't, y'all know I suck with internet uh, with the, so I thought he kicked me out and I just left. But uh, he was on today and I wanted to ask him, why does he think all atheists want to kill him? Like, what make you think you that important? What the fuck are you doing? That... Self-importance, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, he, he's not important in his personal life, so he has to at least appear to be important on the Internet. Dig that. Exactly. Exactly. That's why I'll always be special to Bran in a little special way. Yeah, but, that, you know, that, that's important in the real world, too, <laughs> Grampy. Yeah, that is true. It translates. Come on, how did you how did you not lose your fucking patience with uh with G Man? Um I, bro, I went in there on intentionally with with saying to myself, I'm gonna be as calm, I'm gonna be respectful, I'm not gonna a couple of times I almost I almost lost it. He kept cutting me off and I said, you know, I was gonna chill and just go in there and just talk to him. But um, uh, he knew what he was doing. He knew what he was yeah. doing. He he was leading the conversation the way he wanted it to go. Yep. And you know, I I just I, he didn't he didn't really piss me off. It, I didn't let him. How about I'll say it like that? I didn't let him piss me off. Yeah. But he he was he was saying the same shit, and you know, Beckel. Did y'all notice? The thing that he was saying, but I asked him that him and Veckel believe the same thing. I asked Veckel that, and Veckel said uh, similar. And I caught him when he said that, and I thought he was something else, but I just didn't know what it was. I thought he believed something else. Wasn't he a, a different? Uh, he was. A, he's a Calvinist, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Calvinist, yeah. That's it. So. It, uh, according to G-Man, if you're not his kind of Christian, then you're not a Christian. Right? Well, it, it's not so much his flavor of Christianity. It's if you are a Christian and you, you disagree with him, then there your you Christianity go. comes into question. Exactly. There you go. There you go. So, uh, it wasn't that long ago that uh, during the whole uh, topic about it, should the N-word be uh, made illegal, Veckel disagreed with G-Man. No, G-Man says flat out that pe nobody should be allowed to say the N-word. Nobody. Black guy TV is. Okay. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Veckel disagreed with him, and one of the first things G-Man did was ask him, so should he, uh, abortion be illegal? What? How it's, you go just, from the N-word to abortion, motherfucker? <laughs> because he got dis he got disagreed with, yeah, That's by one of, one of his brothers in Christ. Oh, but here was something that was just absolutely disgusting. This motherfucker said, "If a woman is raped, then uh, Jules." This was uh, this, I'm kind of going to different. Jules was talking to uh, uh, Stinky. I'm sorry, what's his name? Stinky. Stinky. Okay, yeah. Uh, he was talking <laughs> to him, and uh, my man said. He said that she said, "Well, should a woman have to have to have a, her rapist baby?" This motherfucker said, "It's not the baby's fault. The baby should punish the the rapist, but you know the baby's innocent." Well, you ignorant shackles. Do you know how traumatizing that would be for a woman to have to carry around her rapist baby? Well, did we can put even, the baby into a test tube. It. We can cry yeah. or freeze it. Right, we can exactly. teleport it into the future. <laughs> yeah, look, Von Helton even said that they can take the baby out of one woman and put it in a, in a, in a surrogate, which that's not what a surrogate is. But anyway, um, I mean, I mean okay. But yeah, so they, you can literally take the baby out of one woman and just put the, uh, the baby into another woman, and it'll come out fine, lead a yeah. normal life. Wow. Really? Yeah. Yep. By the I'm way, Grampy. By the way, Grampy, did you did you catch what me and Jello did for you? 
What did you did for me? We we got Vaughn to say who is stinky yet again. Oh. <laughs> I'll catch it. Say what now? Who, who is, is stinky? stinky? Oh, okay. It just it it's it started so innocently enough. I heard somebody refer to him as stinky a long time ago, and I just called started calling him stinky instead of private poopy pants. And <laughs> it just it the whole stinky thing kind of caught on, and then there was Vaughn was doing a live stream one time. And somebody somebody put something about Stinky in the side chat. And Vaughn went on for, oh, God, over, is it about a minute, Wilson? Something like that. Who's Stinky? Who is Stinky? <laughs> Who is Stinky? He went just on and on like that. And like singing uh, it. <laughs> yeah, it was beautiful. Was singing it. Wow. And I, I was hoping, I was, you know, if I was a religious man, I would have been praying at that oh. point, you know? But I'm not. And all of a sudden he says, Secular lobster, which was my name at the time, uh, calls you stinky, and he's like, "Oh, you're some shit like that." But uh, yeah, I I live for those moments, you know. I'm a that whole, man. That whole fucking movie. live stream that he did on his channel, I am shocked and amazed that secular opinion lasted as long as he did in the chat. Like secular was in there for almost an hour and a half before Vaughn finally caught him. When he didn't say anything to him, no, like he was actively chatting, but he, oh, okay. yeah. Vaughn wasn't paying attention. Oh, okay. Now it was something else that was funny that I saw. I think this. I don't. I don't know when this this took place, but this motherfucker went and got two gogurts and was eating them. Yep. On oh and yeah, this shit was fucking hilarious, man. The dude uh, eats fucking Chef Boyardee out of the can. Right. My, really? Yep. Yeah. My, I mean, my, I'm not fucking... saying I'm, I ain't saying I ain't never done that, but he does it. To <laughs> drive. I ain't I never mean, that shit no, I, no, you talk about those little single serving. Yeah, you, know, you stick in the microwave, you know, the little thing on, you stick in the microwave. Okay. Uh, yeah. No, yeah. I mean, you know, I'm not sticking that little bit in the fucking bowl. You just have to go wash it all to eat it. Right. I'm not eating. All, I'm not eating a real big can of that shit. I mean, I don't eat it very often anyway. But yeah. I saw him gumming that spaghetti. Like, that that uh, with a, with a spoon. That? Yeah, with a fucking spoon, you idiot. It goes you, back. He says it's it's his tribute to the tick because the tick said spoon or something once. Or get the fuck out of here! You just gumming that. You just gumming it. I like well, how he, he pushes the spaghetti yeah, into his gun. he pushes as much spaghetti into his mouth and then he tries to shut his mouth and start chewing it before it falls starts falling out. He inhales <laughs> it. He has to breathe in. <laughs> I was about to say, when the fuck does the chewing commence, Grampy? Like Yeah. Like does he chew it or does he just swallow it down? Uh, his mouth moves and stuff, but I you know <laughs> He's animated. What yeah, the fuck is that. yogurt anyway? What is that shit? Is it like like pudding or some shit like yeah, that? Like yeah, it's yogurt in a tube. Kid. Yeah, yeah, it's like, like that. a snack for kids. Yeah. I also did uh, get Vaughn to acknowledge the uh, the Captain Crunch challenge, which still stands. Uh, what did he oh, say? Oh, you gonna get challenging me to eat some Captain? I'd love to see that shit. I've, I want. I want to see him eat fucking will, lettuce. His <laughs> mouth will be bloody as hell. This is an out. Outgoing challenge once again. I will pay Pal Vaughn two hundred dollars to eat Captain Crunch cereal dry <laughs> <laughs> on camera. On camera, like he has to get a, a, a fresh box, pour it into a bowl, and then just spoon it. And he has to finish the entire bowl. The results mm -hmm. are gonna look like something from a Saw movie, man. He's exactly. Gonna fucked yeah, up yeah. With this. I mean, I mean, for two hundred dollars, I'm gonna make him fucking sing for his supper. I'm up with the mouth bloody as hell. Mm. Fucking Christ. But he he took he was on that that the when he was on there with Billy, I mean I could tell that he he really does the internet is all this motherfucker has. I'm gonna tell you why. Well, I'm sure y'all know. I ain't gotta tell y'all shit, but like the how I what made me realize that it's the truth. One, when he said, you're not going to take away my freedom of speech. He would not answer the question, your kids or the fucking internet. 
he kept yeah, he talking did. about my freedom of speech yeah, bullshit. Which, which meant he'd rather have the internet than his kids. Exactly. Exactly. And the other thing that made me realize is how he just sat there and took the punishment that Billy and the rest of y'all was dishing out to his ass. Like, he was, everything he was saying, it was his fucking haters. For, who are all of these people that fucking hate him? And trolls. Man. Like, who are all <laughs> of these people that, a few people or what? Oh, you go. Oh. Oh. As, as far as people that actually, like, genuinely hate him, that, I believe, is a, a fairly short list. Okay. The, the the vast majority of the list is what he calls either trolls or naysayers. What is this? Hey, it's like Officer yeah. Hot is in the room. No, no, I <laughs> listen, I am the your your official election cop. Come through. Make sure everything's hunky dory here. I need to know what's going on. How you doing? We have our papers in order. Fucking <clears throat> better. Will you frisk me? <laughs> I need yeah. a tip. You need tits? No, I built those on my own. Um, no, I need a tip. Uh, a tip, okay. Um, Where I come from, that's called a bribe. Yeah. Listen, I didn't know, I didn't know uh, how many uh, times I've been Always tip. look both ways before you cross the street. Yeah. I need to know how many times y'all voted, really. 30. Once. <laughs> oh, that's not nearly enough. So. Oh, shit. Near. It, don't it don't matter how much my black ass vote in Alabama. I still, it still is gonna be red. It you matter. don't count. <laughs> <laughs> Listen here, Buster. You're talking to an authentic election cop. I am bonded and licensed by the U.S. State Department to uh, affirm that all this election business is going on hunky dory. Now I need to know uh, why. Why have you not voted, voted more, sir? My shorts are tight. Oh man. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, at least in my state, it's a crime if you vote more than once. Well, I'm going to say you live in the wrong state, Buster. Listen, I have <laughs> I have people from I have people from Kuala Lumpur dumping in votes, doing their civic duty. I'm asking you, as a patriot, what is your excuse? Because I don't want to go to jail. Oh, well, I... am I under arrest? Well, no, I'm just thinking, you know, Thomas oh, Paine would be... He, Thomas Paine is rolling in his graves right now. What are you? Now, do we have election news we're looking at? What are we looking at here? What are we talking about? I need to be up on this. Well, we got some news. We got... We're just checking up on, like, what it says on Yahoo. Uh, no. um, uh, fucking Ohio's fucking turning pink. Yeah, Joe Biden won 31, and Donald Trump's still 92. Well, Ohio's gay anyway, Wilson. You know that. Well, so is fucking Rhode uh, Island. Ah, no. fuck you. We're already blue. I'm starting to think this is all a hopeless endeavor. We need to just call this whole thing off. So wait, did that did that go up a bit for Donald for uh, Joe Biden? Was it yeah. lower than that? It no, did. He, he went up on? a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it it looks the same as the last time I saw it, but he he was like 127 last time I looked in. Yeah, I thought yeah. when we first when I first came in, I thought it was in. Was it lower than that, uh, Frank? No, Joe Biden's been so, uh, been pulling in like all night. So. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, Trump's yeah. going to just get pissed off. He's going to hit the facts. Well, Fox, Peter Fox, News is, Fox News is calling 129 to 100 right now. And I'm going to say on the race to 270, there's a whole lot of colors you can go through until you get there. You can go through purples and oranges. You can end up like ignoring the West entirely. You can forget about that. <laughs> there are a fuck ton of ballots that need to be counted over the next few weeks. And you can just say, you know what? Trump got a whole hundred. Hundred's a big number. Okay. Now, I don't mean to be speaking officially as an election cop, but I, I suppose I have to. Now, once you've reached a big number like 100, kind of means you're president. Forever. Just mean <laughs> so, it. Right. I'm so, thinking as an election cop, we need to just call the whole thing off, tell everyone to go home. We'll just we'll just call it a mulligan. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I was about to annex fucking China, and they all fucking vote Republican all of a sudden. <laughs> Trump's going to try to annex Puerto Rico, not remembering that it's part of the United States. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Billy. Okay. Hey, We're creepy annex... Joe, can you, can you beat a billion? Well, listen, I was trying to speak officially as a U.S. official, like I said, licensed and bonded by the State Department, to a, a foreign national actually a few moments ago on my own channel, which everyone should go and watch. It's called Laughing Scoundrel. 
Uh, but uh, while I was over there, Jables was there. He heard the negotiations, very, very tense negotiations. But we managed to sway most of New Zealand to vote for Joe Biden um, so as to mitigate the collateral damage that will be in inevitably incurred when the Biden administration decides it's times to annex Tasmania. And we're going to have yeah. to do that through New Zealand, but that's fine because it's not even a real country. And we're going to start <laughs> cleaning up this whole mess of countries thing we got. Well, we, we persuaded nine out of the 16 people that live there. So, Oh, yeah. You know. The entire parliament is nuts about it. It's amazing. <laughs> All right. So this is actually kind of a, it's not I'm, I'm asking it as a question. What do you think Trump will blame if he loses? Everything. Because Faith, Faith says that he, she thinks uh, he will blame no, the mailing. Everything. Lines. Everything. Everything. Fake news. Yeah. Fake news. I, I, China, I media. I want, I want Trump to win the popular vote, but lose the electoral vote. Well, think about uh, this. Think about I this. brought that up earlier, man. Oh, golly. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> and then Kamal like, reiterated it, and now you're bringing it about. Oh, my God. I'm it's sorry. I'm sorry, but it's right. it's true. It's just it's just. I justice. know. I just I'm loving <laughs> how fo I'm watching. I have Fox News on one of my screens right now, and they're doing this beautiful thing where they just keep coming up Hillary Clinton, you know, bring up Hillary Clinton, and I love how they're all doing it. I'm like, damn, I didn't know Hillary Clinton was in this race. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <Right>. Yeah. Apparently, <laughs> you think what Obama does she was... have to do with it? What does I... she have to do with this at all? I still think he's. I think Trump oh. still thinks he's running against Obama. Listen, she <laughs> has everything to do with everything, Mister. I don't know if you've ever bothered connecting the dots, but listen, I'm an election detective, and I can tell you one thing for certain: um, Hillary Clinton stole that election from Donald Trump, and I'm not going to rest until I get to the bottom of how she did it. <laughs> <laughs> now, wait a minute. You said you were an electoral. Top. You never said detective. Oh, I got promoted about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Keep up, Wilson. Come on. This is, a, this is the life of listen, listen, sir. This is the life of a civil servant. I do not do this for praise or recognition. I just simply do it so that I can do the job to protect you, the voter, from having President Hillary Biden on the ballot. Now, damn, I wish you would first me. Oh. We, can, we can work together, or like uh, we can make this difficult. I've got a good cop, bad cop routine. You don't even know who the bad cop is. Might be me. Might be anyone else. You don't know. That's the tricky part. Now, Can if you, you want to go down that road, I'm willing to go down that road. But what I'm trying to tell you here is that, uh, listen, I've been on the force for 45 years. And I am certain, I am absolutely certain that um, this election is, is, is a fraud, no matter who wins. Literally, it's a fraud. And uh, what we need to do is end election fraud by ending elections. Just let myself and my colleagues make these decisions for you. You can go back about your lives. You have streams to host. Back to brunch. Am I not right? How much? Yes, I'll put. I will put you back to brunch if you elect me president. <laughs> Fuck. Fox is talking about Hillary Clinton. I didn't know she was winning in Ohio. Nope, she's <laughs> losing in Ohio. Wow, that's a weird race. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, as ele as election superintendent. I need to make sure that all of these ballots are verified, which means you need to you need to cast them in front of me. And I've only got so many hours in a day, Buster. <laughs> should I hand them to you in a stack, or should I make it rain? Oh, I don't mind. I have a staff. They can handle a mess. Come on. Obviously. What, let's get serious about our democracy here, though. How do you see this election coming out? Fraudulent or horribly scarred? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, yeah. I, I'm, I'm just doing a sweep and just whatever happens when I wake up, I don't know. I'll take it from there. I, I guess if we uh, have a conclusive answer by then, even. <coughs> but you know, one thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here, guys. I I really am tired, and my yeah. back is killing me. Yeah, go get some sleep, uh, man. I need to get some rest, man. But take I, it I, easy, come on. You have a good man, man. man. Nice God bless you, Kamal. <laughs> nice to meet you. God bless know. all of you atheists, too. <laughs> You're tiny. <laughs> You're... I'm jealous uh, of this ceiling fan. I'm sitting here smoking in violation of my lease. I'm not by law. Uh, by the way, the um, I'm I'm off duty now. Okay. Oh, so yeah. So we can say stuff. 
Oh yeah, no, you you can talk all kinds of shit about your 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 marijuana connections. Listen, if you're not allowed to smoke inside, like don't do that because we've already seen one person get evicted live on stream. <laughs> uh, what, yeah. what King Cobra? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh fuck. No, I mean, I, I'm lucky. In- smoking was not included in my lease. But I try not to, but the Nick fucking constantly smokes in his apartment. It makes me want to smoke. No, I don't. You need to stop <laughs> lying. I, I've, had, I've had it up to here with, with this lying, you bastard. <laughs> okay, now we need to focus on what's important. Clo- polls are closing in Battleground, Iowa in minutes. Now, don't, if don't, you've don't, ever been don't. to Iowa, you know that time seems to just last for still. Yeah, so like Literally hours from now, Iowans will be like, oh, I need to go back home. <laughs> yeah, it's surprisingly, it's surprising that they do so much meth there. <laughs> I mean, kind of. I mean, kind of, is it though? Really? It's the land of meth and casseroles. Yeah. <laughs> so what are our election predictions? Meth casserole. Uh, I, I think Trump's going to win this one. Really? You think Trump's going to pull I, it off? I, I mean, it's just, you, I mean, you've I, got, it'd be, you've got those, I, yeah, you've I got those 2016 PS, you know, <laughs> these jitters, man. Like, I see it emanating. Well, I mean, it's, so, hey, if wait he a does, minute. it's going to be, like, duty? really close. It's going to be real wait, close. Wait, wait, wait a second. Are you back on duty now? Oh no! Hat on. My head, my head was just cold. You see. Oh, okay. I was, yeah. I was gonna say I thought you were. Yeah, right no, well, no, I, I'm ju- I was just wondering because I saw you put the hat. But I thought maybe you got a call or something. Oh no, 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 no! Listen, it's not the hat that tells you I'm no- on duty. It's the aviators which block out the eyes slash humanity that I might have like, looked at you. That's how you know I'm on duty as cop. You remind me of the stripper we had at the, our uh, party. The uh, how do you know ago. it wasn't me? I, I'm thinking it was. Um, no. I, I, that great. shirt looks really familiar. I remember I our, y'all bumping up against you. Y'all tip. Y'all, y'all, did, y'all didn't tip for shit. Oh yeah, no, no, we did. We, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and say that. Oh well, I mean, if you wanted to, you could. I got a whole stream lab set up. If you want to make it up to me now, I know it was a long time ago, but. If you've been feeling as bad about it as I have, I'm, I'm happy to take your tips now. Oh, I mean, I'll even, yeah, no, I'll even print out receipts. There's a Stuff. yeah, that's it, what you want. It, it is from art, so it's tax exempt. Stick them all up in my hands there. Oh yeah, Quint and uh, Crash is trying to figure all this out. So look, guys, we're just as confused. So. Wait, well, who is uh, confused about what the election? Uh, it's a confusing process. I don't blame you. I no. was confused the fact that you would own a receipt for such services. I'm still kind of I know. That. I'm a cash only kind of guy. I mean, right? well, listen, I mean, I'm going to say this unironically. It's true. I'm a Jew, which means, of course, I can't yeah. Be okay, yeah, numbers. It's a oh, thing now you're, you're anti-Semitic. <laughs> well, well, it's not like you're the first Jew that's been on this show. Hang on, you know of another one? <laughs> yeah, I'm right here, dude. Well, there's oh, another. Been well, now we're up to three. Yeah, we got. Yeah, I got no, I've spam. Never, listen, I've heard they can turn invisible. Just tell me what they. Sound like. <laughs> Sam's uh, an invisible ninja. Oh, good. Well, on the West Coast, and he looks good doing it. Oh. Listen, this is turning oh. out to be a great young adult novel. Um, I'm glad we all met Fuck on yeah. election night. <laughs> Who's going to be president tomorrow? Ah, that's a joke. It's going to still, still be Donald Trump either way. Yeah. <laughs> I tricked you. Shut the fuck up, Jables. I tricked you. Oh, yeah, that's right. Inauguration. Yeah, I forgot oh, yeah. about that. It, only, according to Fox News, there's only two minutes and 52 seconds until the election is also again over. Yeah. Uh, right. Aren't those West Coast polls? What? Hang on. You guys, West Coast hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. You get to vote? <laughs> yeah, I already voted. You get what? Jews are allowed to vote I'm, now. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, All right. Nick, I don't. I already talked about this. I voted Vermin Supreme. He shot I don't me know, the I don't know how this works. I'm just saying. Yes, <laughs> I agree. Now it's time to abolish the electoral college and the elections. <laughs> uh, I didn't just know Jables got vote. to vote. I said we go by lottery. Fuck. 
Hang on, did the rest of you get to vote too? Maybe. That's not encouraging. I'm I not can neither uh... confirm nor deny. Well, you, we the, you passed the literacy test, right? Come on. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I have to pass a breathalyzer before I can vote. <laughs> <laughs> God, I love you, Wilson. God yeah, that's it. why you got to <laughs> register early. I passed right past that line. The plot oh, yeah. twist is he has to be hammered to vote. Can you yeah. imagine? Oh, my God. Imagine this. Elections started to be handled the way the TSA handles air flights. <laughs> <laughs> you get into a body scanner for no reason. <laughs> and here's your ballot. We you scan your body. You are human. You can vote here. You just get randomly pulled out of line and cavity searched for no reason at all. No, I'm fine. Oh, God. I, don't you like going to the TSA just hoping that they fucking like, pick you to go in the back? No, it sucks. It's not <laughs> Hang on. No, I need to ask have any of you actually ever fucked with the TSA? Nah. No, but I've wanted to. I've done, I've done it. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's worth it if you've got nowhere to be. Um <laughs> <laughs> No, there was the time. I think it was the first time I ever walked through one of those body scanner booths. You know the, you know it goes whoosh. Uh, first time I went through one of those, I come out the other side. I am hammered, and I made a very strong point of getting hammered before I got to the airport. That way, I could just fall asleep on the plane. And so I'm going through this, and they're like. Stop, sir. I'm like, all right, cool. Standing on the little carpet and looking at the little screen, and I ask, is this the future? Hey, excuse me, sir. I'm like, time machine, right? Doctor Who. And then I got searched all over. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I get still felt it was worth it because I got on my flight on time and I just got like, you know, I got Almost laid. No, human contact. It was nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, they, guess... should adver they should advertise Listen, those terms, For the know? first time in five years, somebody touched me who actually clearly went to the gym. How about that? Hmm. The only time the only oh. time I've ever pushed back against a TSA agent was the first time I learned that you can't take a zippo onto a plane anymore. No oh, shit. So uh, the only I, I, the only I, time I pushed back against a TSA agent was when they were right behind me. Oh, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> different reasons. <laughs> 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 no, I got I got pulled out of line. I got the, the the private search. He found a zippo on me. He told me like, "Well, you can't take this on the plane. It's illegal." I'm like, "Well, okay. Uh, I can pull the cotton out. I can pull the wick out. I can pull the flint out." It won't be able to produce fire. No, you can't have it. Okay, you can take the actual lighter part out of it. Can I take the actual case? Because it, I've had the case for a long time. No, you can't have that either. Why not? Because I said so. And he starts fucking, you know, big boying up on me. I'm like, did he point his finger at you? Uh, by point his finger, like he put his hand on his gun, I'm like, are you yeah, serious? <laughs> or TSA. Or they Taser. They TSA people guns now? Oh, that was like in 2005. Mm. That makes more sense. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit, I don't know. I don't know a gun that far. I remember uh, when I when I flew back, back west uh, the first time a while back, uh, my, my wife had gone and uh, bought me a bunch of like little like mini shampoos and all toothpaste and stuff like that for my bag and uh, she put it in this Ziploc bag and <laughs> we got to the airport they're so like you looking at it and can so we I found get... out you can't have toothpaste or Wait, mouthwash or... Get... you know what you know what's gonna you know it's gonna really rock the TSA's uh, gonads in a hard way. Is um well, how this election comes out? That's what we're all here for. What's going on here? Why don't we Why don't we go over this one thirty one and ninety eight? 
Yeah, I'm start. I'm starting to think at this point I might have a better chance of smuggling cocaine clear across the continental United States uh, under a Biden administration. He's going to strip the TSA of all of its funds. They, he's going to make them work in their underwear. Strip them everywhere. Oh. Well, Biden's obviously going to he's going to defund the TSA, the FBI, the CIA, local police departments, state police departments like they're going to be out there with fucking, you know, spit wads. No, it's great because, listen, yeah, I, but he, but I he also said he was going to reinforce all of those like a week earlier. So I am ready to become my city's marshal specifically because I watched that first episode of The Mandalorian and I think I know what it takes. I'm ready to defend <laughs> my area. I don't need no governments. I will just everyone. Nobody else gets a gun. I get a gun, and me and my gun. We we're gonna decide what the law is, and I'm gonna do a great job. Problem solved. Yeah. Problem. So solved. I mean, let's face it. Like if fucking Biden wins, the fucking SS and the Spetsnaz, they'll be marching down the streets. They'll be busting down doors, collecting everyone's guns because he's a Democrat. They yeah. they want to take our guns. You guys, well, you like, know, if Donald who? Trump doesn't get elected president, if they elect one of them liberal commies, they're going to come after all the Christians and they're going to line them up and jail them and execute them for, you know, for their religious beliefs and everything. Fellers, you know? fellers, would you like to know what the uh, real conspiracy behind the COVID hoax really is? I can tell you right now. I bet I can top you. Oh, y'all think you're coming? Y'all think they're coming to take your guns, and they will come and take your guns. More important, they're going to take your ammo and go take your vehicles. And They'll never get my staple gun over no. my dead body. Here's where, uh, here's <laughs> COVID nineteen, or as I like, or my salad shooter. I will not give up my salad shooter. Oh well, they're going to take that too. The pandemic. See, it was about you going to the grocery store and stocking up on edible foodstuffs. Because they're going to come for that. They can come through. They're going to take all your food, all your beans and rice and carrots, all your sourdough, like that, and your ammo, Ooh, starter, and, and your guns. As, at least we know Rev is safe. Are you, <laughs> are you seeing the purpose behind COVID-19 yet? Will they outlaw DoorDash and Grubhub? Absolutely not. Those They're all working on behalf of the CIA, counting your caloric intake. Oh, CIA. That's how oh, making also, it right. I'm surprised you didn't realize this before, sir. But I mean, I guess I'm just here with a bunch of uh, uh, dilettantes, huh? And you do not know your caloric intake is of vital importance to the NSA. They keep a number on it. That way, they know which way to put the missiles. And well, would... one, the one thing I can tell about you is you actually do look official. So mm. I can tell that you're a very credible person. You saw my hat. <laughs> yeah. I have that yeah. here. I can go back well, on awful. duty at any time, sir. Okay. What a lot this of people. This is me on don't my off time. Listen, I'm talking to you on my personal time. This is my lunch break. I could be eating a hoagie right now, but instead, I'm talking to you, trying to fill you in on my perspective as an official law enforcement officer for the State Department, representing my country. I mean, you could be doing both. Good though. Listen, no intelligence agents worth their salt, whatever try and lure someone into a false sense of security by presenting a <laughs> casual demeanor and then suddenly reverting to their official standing. I am insulted by I have a mask just like you do libtard. Come on. Now, what I'm trying to say here is we need to get to like the bottom of what this election business is doing. I don't know what these people are up to but a whole bunch of people out in this country right now are apparently conspiring to change things or not change things. I'm not sure. What's happening? So well, no, things are changing, much much like you were talking about there, Nick. Like, it, little do you know, CIA actually stands for Consumer Integrated Amazon. So they're going to take all of your stuff so that you're forced to order everything for Amazon because you won't even have a car to drive someplace to get stuff. Hmm. Well, I will have a lot of reviews to leave then, won't I? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Which will actually keep me in business, which means that I will end up hopefully making enough money through Streamlabs. By the way, Jay will spam the Streamlabs link in their chat. Now, do it. I can't post <laughs> links in their chat. I'm not a mod. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Boiled again! <laughs> Listen, so, it isn't about finance. Anyway. Uh, yeah, you're going to have to look at it to do that. that. 
around. We're, so, we're, we're so talking about Mr. the presidential election. Of course, this is about finance. So, Mr. Uh, electoral Officer Detective Agent. I'm off duty. Listen you. You, you listen, you can just call me James. It's fine. James. <laughs> uh, what is your preferred uh, hoagie? Hoagie. That's classified. Uh, can you point me in the right direction? Are you no more way. of a. I need to stand up to do that. It's not a thing you can do with your hands. Um, he takes hoagies very seriously. Very seriously. Oh. In the words of, um, what is it? Uh, it was one of the 18th, no, 17th century poets um, known as the knife. I keep my dick hanging out of my pants so I can point at what I want. Damn, that's, that's deep. That's deep. Also, yeah. if you know the knife, I hope you got the reference. <laughs> I got a question uh, from the chat. Can you ask everyone how would they w how they would react if this ended up being a correlation between Trump and Biden? A what? A what? Correlation? Correlation, yeah. You mean like them decided to team up? Yeah. I'd set myself on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, 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 yeah, I, yeah. I got a fucking no. siphon hose. I'll find a car that you can still stick a hose. I'll find something, man. Yeah. Oh, I, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It was us, Austin. It was us all along. <laughs> I'm starting to see all the, the connections. connections you get from chat. Are they just sitting here listening to us, being like, "Pretty uh, much, this this, this is, is the devil's lettuce." So, I see. This have is, you have you watched this channel before? This is He's top been watch on. coverage you know, of the presidential gotta, election. Listen, I'm, I didn't know I was here in an official capacity. So I gotta go back to official capacity. Well, as an official capacity, look. If you could just take off the hat for just a second, because I wanted to ask you. Oh no, sir! Listen, no, listen. If I'm, if you know, it, it's one of the. Yeah, are you asking? Okay. Me my bad okay. Job? Well, right no, no. You, you don't tell no. him how to do his job. Listen, listen yeah, that's true. Don't make me take the glasses off when the hat comes off. That's when. That's that's when the hurting starts. Civil rights violations all up and down you. Now I'm talking serious time. <laughs> Now, would you like to ask me a civil question that I can answer? Sure, absolutely. Absolutely. Where can I get that shirt? Oh, well, you know, you got you to join the force. And that's, you got to pass the civil service exam. I love that shirt. <laughs> are you more up there? Uh, you got to move, you gotta move, you gotta move forward then. Are you oh, more of a bagel fan or a donut fan? Well, how could you be? How could be one without the other? I mean, I'm that's starting to feel that though there is a bit of uh, what is your ethnicity and can you stay in the country kind of. Yeah, thing. no shit. <laughs> that, that's kind. Of, I mean, uh, that, well, that's I'm sorry, kind of, a fucking cop is on this ethnicity. I'll, oh, I'll, I, uh, I'll, I can't. I'll, I'll, chose the position. Wow, that's a few very different treats. Listen, yeah, hold on. exactly. How, how, hold why on. would you ask a question like that, Wilson? You, I mean, listen, you can't see it, but I guarantee you, I'm wearing a body cam. But if you keep this up, I'm gonna have to. Turn it off, you see. Oh, oh I'm, listen, I'm the election cop. Fox News talking to Carl Rove right now. There are felonies <laughs> happening. I can't not be. I can't be distracted with having to having to abuse you and violate your rights when I've got a whole bunch of shit I've got to cover up. I mean, I'm just gonna let you know that I am white as fucking butter. Well, I mean that. Uh -oh. <laughs> listen, yeah, Wilson, you are white as butter, man. That's. <laughs> that's Listen, that's fine. All I need to do is, you know, I'm just going to ha you know, hashtag BLM on your T-shirt there. I'm sure it's black. I'll do it in silver spray paint. Black on silver, that's pretty visible for the cameras, right? And then, um, you know, I'm going to get to sue you um, for, uh, you know, later down the line. You know, emotional distress. And yeah. such. How's that sound? In Minecraft. <laughs> listen, I've had, uh, listen, I've been on duty for at least, 45 seconds now and i've got a whole host of fox news in my face from this other monitor i'm starting to wonder what what are y'all doing what i mean how are you all preparing for the anti-fire riots i've got some pizza rolls like this oh they're, they're <laughs> hot as soon as they bite in they are they will run it's yep. too hot yeah that was my thing yeah, right no, this is basically Dick Cheney telling you to get duct tape and, and plastic wrap for your windows for the inevitable Al Qaeda gas attacks. I'm feeling this is solid advice. Um, I can't endorse it hard enough. Yeah, Grampy, eat the um, e eat those, but uh, save your cans of soup. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> 
Oops. By the way, does anyone know what time it is? Yeah, uh, you know, it is ten thirteen where I'm at. Ten and, fifteen. And, and you know what time it is? Uh, I'm glad you brought up soup, Fran. Soup, uh, because since this pandemic started, a lot mm. of businesses have f uh, found their way, you know, bankrupt. You know, no, they can't just they just can't keep up during this uh, crisis oh, yeah. that we, we're in right now. And uh, soup plantation seems to have been one of those. <laughs> uh, a, a, form, a, a, a former sponsor of the Geek Room. Fuck them. <laughs> Yeah, from what I hear, they actually, you know. So Wait, you'd, I, you'd, you'd hang on. do I require actual balls. deeper investigation into this? I is think they, Billy may have something to do with it because I are think you Billy talking about a, are, 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 are you talking about unlicensed soup harvesting? Yeah, soup slavery. <laughs> mm. Wait, yeah. this this is the kind of thing that can tip an election, and as, I know <laughs> as the election commissioner at the zero hour. I have had so many promotions. It's such a chaotic time now. We need to rely on those we can trust. Name and name. That's why. And, that's why I brought that up to you. I mean, I figured maybe you could do something. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna assure you with my, why my accordion hands. I, I need you to pay attention at how I'm framing these things to you. And while I do these, <laughs> I need to be so absolutely, oh, completely, oh, completely. Oh, oh. Sure. I understand. No, listen. No soup <laughs> is going into pirate hands on my watch. None. Okay? We're going to put an end to that in my second term, no matter what. If you want to vote for the, the soup pirate socialists, you go ahead and you vote for them. But that's, you know, we're going to come for you after the election is what I'm saying. So I'm what feeling... What counts as soup? Oh, well, listen, lots of lots of things. So many people tell me so many things that they think are soup. And frankly, and this is this is administration guidelines. You should regard anything that you like that other people don't like as soup is what I'm saying. And I need to get on board with this right now. Because otherwise I'm going to have to write you a citation. So is cereal soup? Oh, um, well, it depends on where you come from. And if I like oh. it or not. Uh, listen, <laughs> you know, all these questions. Now, I'm going to show up eventually, or one of my deputies will show up, and they'll make the determination at the time of you know the incident. We can get over it then. I don't need you fretting out too much. What I need you now to do is calm down, buckle down, sit do down. It, do it, do it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, you're batting down all of the hatches. And, and just get ready. Because there is a tidal wave of soup coming on your way, but it's going to be legitimate American-made economic growth soup. None of this pirate shit. You can be sure of it. I'm hungry now. Dude, is it going to be like a tomato do? or like a beef soup? I'm starting to regret all of these promotions. <laughs> <I> kind of... <laughs> What's your position on show me the booty hole? Oh, I can't say. Of <laughs> you can't say. Oh, Here's a hot dog boy. a sandwich. I've got 15 minutes until my shift is up. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be fine, though, because honestly, I respect this position. I was elected to it in 2015, <laughs> and it was the greatest honor of my life to serve under the president, Barack Trumpo, and have... <laughs> the opportunity to Good enforce man. election law the way I have. I'm looking at Fox News right now, and apparently Delaware is being merged into Michigan to create a single Good. state. And yet their electoral votes will actually decrease so as to give more actual credibility <laughs> to the fact that South Dakota and North Dakota both are as Dakota. Oh, wow. This is heavy, heavy shit. Oh, my God. Trump is about to beat Hillary Clinton again. <laughs> well, I mean, you have North Dakota and then just fake Dakota. I've been rolling down the mountains and hills of these beautiful lands for years. And frankly, I've never seen anything like this. This is my official view as a, you know, an election monitor. Unprecedented. Oh, uh, no, I am I am the I am the commissar of all election monitors hence the hat. I don't know if you noticed. Sorry. You may have been paying more attention to your MSNBCs. 
where you think all oh, because socialism sounds fun in California, it'll work in Idaho. Listen, I'm not buying that, Buster. Yeah, and it, we need it, it to get back shirt. on track. Does anybody watch MSNBC? No, right. no. Everyone's right. watching Fox News, much like I am. <laughs> Apparently, the president of Maine is about to win with 115% of the vote reporting. I only watch Tucker Carlson. You know, I get all my news from Tucker Carlson. I'm going to start calling him Ducket Carlson. <laughs> I mean, if anyone in Maine is going to win the fucking presidency, it's got to be emo. Are you going to throw up, Anna? <laughs> oh, Anna's here. Oh, thank you. Right. Hey, Anna. Brian was Brian was uh, putting it out there that your real name was actually Nancy earlier, and I was no. saying, and I was saying, no, that's really not nice. Her name is Anna. Her parents named her Anna or something similar to that. You know, My it might be Anna. Real might be, name but Brian was telling me. Brand was My real people. name is not a secret. It's Abigail Madeline Humsworth. He knows. Oh, shut Bingo. the fuck up, Nick. My real name is not a secret. <laughs> it's not a I secret. Th I thought your real name was Karen. It, no. God, no. That's no. Sad. I have an aunt named no. Karen, and she's no. a diagnosed no. schizophrenic. Eventually, Sinead O'Connor had to be uh, reincarnated. And so it happened. <laughs> But you know I'm doing it way sexier, so fuck you. I don't know, man. Uh, Nothing compares to her. Well, yeah, hey, she's, a, she's actually she's actually a destitute now, and she's uh sends out messages and has people. She's like a recluse. She's like afraid to leave her house, and she's having people uh like send her food because she's afraid to leave her house. Alone. Are we oh, about so she has agoraphobia. Or... Yeah, it gets the old the drone phobia going on. Listen, I want to remind you all, I am still on duty, and this is all being recorded <laughs> for training and quality purposes. Wait, hey, Sinead O'Connor is Brett so Keen. <laughs> I'm 115 right. pounds. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I'm say, like, <laughs> Sinead O'Connor is agoraphobic. Can we get chubby? her and Brett Keen together? Really? The chubby girl. It's like chubby what? girl. Oh, no. Like everybody Listen misses here, the Charlie actually chubby Brown. person on the show. Really? They just go for everybody else. Are you out of alcohol, Mr. Cop Investigator, Safe Department? Uh, oh no, 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 no! Listen, this. Listen, I listen. I, I work. You know, I. Operate. I thought it was. I thought it was part of your job description. Oh no, no! I operate on public funds. I've got an infant supply of gasoline and alcohol, and I. You know, it In don't his home out. at the moment. Listen. Currently. I've got about. I've got do about. Not, do not light an open flame in the listen, area. Listen here, fellow. What I'm trying to tell you is, like, I've got another ten minutes on my shift, and if you make another one of these violations, I'm gonna have to issue you a citation for noncompliance. Now, I gotta ask you who you voted for. Doesn't matter. That, who. That's the, you know we we don't have to tell you because that's a uh, federal law. We don't well, that's not compliance that. right there. Listen, man. That's you I've know been, what you know what that's I, I have to tell you. The, I am employed by the Department of Weights and Measures to make sure that all measures. Okay, ballots. so that's that's not a thing when it has oh, to yes. do with the uh, voting. Oh, it's no, different it's in thing. Kentucky. It, it's been there forever. No, listen, we've been. We've been operating since the country was founded. You know, founded. You know, know. it lives in a in a uh, Lovecraftian horror uh, dome. So you know, we don't we don't have to do with the oh. uh, podunk laws. Oh well, no. Listen, ma'am, I'm a federal employee. I've been on the job for a long time. Are uh, you really allowed? Show me your credentials. Show oh, me. I've, right do now. you not see the right hat? Now, no. Do you not see no, that? No, hat, hat doesn't matter. You know, you know, as a federal employee, that no, no, this is paperwork. A, no, 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 paperwork. The, hat, the hat has a badge. This is a crest. Yeah. A crest. <laughs> yeah, this is a crest. It will it's shine the crest. light of truth upon ye if ye do not That's try. That's not a crest. That is, that, is is a, that is a shield that you get at Spirit Halloween. That is no, nothing. listen, I have never been to a Halloween shop. I am no, a Christian, you, madam. That, no, you are not. <laughs> no, I am a very, I have long time. I know you. I know you personally. You are. You are not. I am not being personal with you, ma'am. I am on the job. I'm, there are twelve minutes left in my shift. I need to be. You, you are from office. New Hampshire. You Listen, cannot I possibly am, be a Christian. I am election commissar here. I need to make sure that you know the election happens. I'm just here to make uh, sure it's going to happen with happen. or without you. You. Uh, oh you, no, no, it's happening. Here. I'm. I'm here to patrol and police your activity to make sure that. Uh, hang on. That was a quick 12 minutes. Anyway, so I am <laughs> so glad to hang with you guys again. It's been, it's fucking wild. Mel, how you doing? Anna, 
Oh my I God. just talked to you. I just what I did had you a phone vote call for anyway? Twenty minutes. To How back. did what that happen? So what, uh, what happened? <laughs> it turns out I have a phone detective. call. I have other friends. Fox News is calling what? Texas yellow. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the yellow rose in Texas. <laughs> Out of curiosity, uh, Officer Christian. No, no, no. I'm on no. Robert. <laughs> uh, do you know the difference between it, Jesus and the picture of Jesus? No, Jesus. I was, well, where'd you get your nails? You at? Oh, you you huh? Where do it I begin? It only takes one nail to hang a picture. It takes only one nail to handle a picture. Uh, <laughs> Wait, what am I supposed to be mad about? Well, Wilson's not drunk enough tonight, so... Uh, Listen, I started not. getting drunk 30 minutes that. before my shift was over, and it's... Fuck, I've only got like 10 hours before i got to be back on duty. So what? Are, what's happening with the election? What is happening with the election? Someone said... You want yeah, someone said, uh, no, Gas says people are saying Biden has took testes, but I don't see it here. It's still real. Biden took testes? Oh, where? Testes, yes. Uh, apparently fucking James won. Jesus Christ, this election has gotten out of hand. Well, I, I know Texas has been leading blue most of the night. The, Texas? But oh, it's still, uh, yeah. Oh, it's you mean America? To, yeah, they've been for a little bit. Yeah. Sure. No, if Unless we're I'm, being honest. I'm sorry, I'm going to double down on that shady joke I made before. We're talking about America's testes, a.k.a. Texas. <laughs> See? Well, Iowa, now, it works. Yes, you're welcome. Iowa's winning now. He's winning in Iowa, so. Listen, you're lucky I'm not on duty, sir. I'd say you so quick. Anyway. Wouldn't Louisiana be the testes because, like, Florida's kind of a dick? I like how yeah. New, New Hampshire... I want New Hampshire to be undecided to the last moment. That way, everyone can remember there's no reason to give a fuck. Most people don't recognize it exists. That's the weirdest thing is we're technically bigger than Connecticut, but we are somehow entirely less relevant. You have less electoral votes, bitch. We got more mountains, bitch. You're just as all along the highways as all. You know what? We were a state before you, cunt. That was a personal statement, not on behalf of the State Department. I think Arizona should be like the last state to actually give like a, a definite answer because who the fuck lives in Arizona? I like how I, you know I love hey, how hey, Vermont, hey, hey, hey. I love uh, how Vermont just goes blue just so that it can just sort of like well, offer itself up like all right we're gonna get this out of the way we're gonna let you know we are going blue please leave us alone you didn't care about us now you don't why care are you about burning us. now? <laughs> it's Vermont. <laughs> yeah, Vermont. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wilson, I think you need to apologize to Adam. Who? Oh. Wilson. Yeah, you need to uh, you don't apologize like... here. Wait. <laughs> my... No, no, no. 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 <laughs> Adam, Adam, Adam lives in Arizona. He's, I... he's... More fun. More fun than the I... Yeah, I might apologize. I say some ridiculous shit sometimes, and I've been well, drinking. I, so... I wasn't asking you. I was telling Adam. Or... <laughs> Okay. I want. Well, I want every. Who were you telling, Grampy? Oh, <laughs> I'd like, on you. <laughs> I'd like everyone to know that if I embarrass myself on this stream, it is strictly Jable's fault for pushing me into. It's not. It's not Jable's fault. It's one hundred percent. No, it's Jable's fault, Nick. and it's your fault, it's, Anna. It's, it's fine. Nick no, Nick I am glad you're you wanna, willing to you accept that. Want to put the full blame on anyone? Does anybody else sense some sexual tension between those two? No, but I mean I'm just saying. I, we, no, you don't. No, Grampy always senses sexual yeah. tension. Yeah, oh. no, that's <laughs> just because he has okay, a constant wait. boner. What the fuck? Okay, there's no more joke now. It's like Grampy always senses sexual tension. Like, okay, you've said that before. <laughs> okay, <laughs> like how that rolled off the tongue, huh? <laughs> Oh man! I think Anna might be the fucking twenty. There, wherever you. What? I think Anna might be the twenty-year-old fucking Vietnamese girl, fucking diplomat that Von Helton's gonna fucking marry. No. Oh, oh, oh God! <laughs> Who's ever doing that? If if there's really somebody catfishing Von Helton, keep going. That would be. I I oh do my it God. more. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> <more. laughs> no. See, no, I mean, guys. I can't believe it. I, I I refuse to believe that Von Helton has gotten that hook and that you know those catfish looks good again. 
As far as I am concerned, if you want to take an individual who is a, uh, a an obvious child neglector and abuser and want to... Uh, Procreate with uh, them? No, no. Did if Von want to, do that? If he, yes. <laughs> yes, he did. Well, oh, yeah. Funny, Anna we, is have a whole, we have a file for you. Uh, oh, no, I do not need to see it. No. <laughs> so, uh, let's, say, no. let's say the extent of the abuse was Listen, that... He, I'm an election cop. I don't get he it. He neglected it, his it. children to the point where they were shitting beneath the bed because they were locked in the room so long. That's a clever uh, place to shit when you're locked in a room. <laughs> yeah, it is. It, it's pretty good. So... Uh, I like these kids. As, they're as far they're, as you know, they're mean, innovators. The kids are great. The kids, the kids. No, are the, are great. the kids locked grandma in the her kids. room. And she had to escape and she climbed out and no. ended up in the. The kids are great. The father, not so much. Um, Listen, I can put my hat back on, go and arrest him as an election cop, but I don't think he's violated any election you know, law. Okay, okay. <laughs> that would be I'm the time because he doesn't have guns anymore. I understand. <laughs> I understand that you're a few drinks in and you got the hat on and everything, but impersonating a law official I don't is have... a federal crime. You Listen, don't Adam, I am not wearing any kind of hat. This is my own luxurious hair. <laughs> no. Yes. Also, oh, no, also, it's, it's all mine. Uh, I, I, no, because I know I have not sent you hair products in a while. Oh, so I still... No, are you accusing me of having stolen this scalp from another person? Uh, it looks a little <laughs> greasy, is all I'm saying. Well, it probably is. Hence, you probably <laughs> should be sure it's mine. I what mean, are I'm we getting at here? <laughs> I've been on the job for 15 hours, election copping yeah. all over the place, and you're giving me shit about my condition. <laughs> well, no, Honestly, you need to actually about have, like... like Credentials we're, is all. We're oh, talking about someone that impersonated an election cop. Oh, or oh. seen someone election impersonated. Election cop? That's thing. Stop saying election <laughs> yeah. cop. No, that's, that's what, that's what <laughs> it it worked for that right. 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 So it's okay, what I was going to say was we're talking about, about a guy impersonating an election cop. And I'm arresting someone who impersonates a fucking no. Cold War veteran. No, no, no. And he doesn't fucking exist. And this guy is fucking from the election cop. I'm figuring out how to pronounce my channel name after I change it. I'm standing on the thin purple line here. You're not going to defund the election police, Mrs. I'm Anna. not going to defund No, I'm hearing everything you're saying. No. <laughs> I'm jumping for every rope you throw at me here, honey. What I'm telling you is I see Did through you just your call plot. me honey? Excuse me. Oh, God, sir? yeah. No. This is, hang on. I got to put the hat on. Excuse I gotta get, me, sir. I'm Did sorry. you just call and, me and, honey? And I will not let you speak to an officer of the law like that. I know. I'm 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 just, I don't have listen, to Jable, on. I'm Jable, I'm covering no tables. Hang on. Jable, stop. I'm undercover. I'm undercover, okay? Now, listen. You're honey. doing a really bad job. Can, of being can, you get down? Can, you get, can you get down with the new wave jive I'm putting down? Considering I've done cocaine with fun. you, you're can really you bad at being no, undercover. I love communism so much, I want to defund the election, please. <laughs> And yo, are you down with that, baby girl? Because yeah, no, I'm, I'm totally I'm, here. Don't call me baby girl. I might have oh. to hurt you. No, I'm sorry. I'm just legit woke with you here. And I'm just. No, you're not. Code. If you call me baby girl. Okay, well, I'm going to say, listen, comrade, we need to march <laughs> against the man right away. And we need okay, to get well, you all can call me comrade, but if you call me baby girl, I might have to castrate you. I would never do such a thing. You're my comrade. Yeah, you know, you just did. You just, no, you just did guy. it like five that was seconds a different ago. Guy. Different hat. It was, no, different guy, different hat. But I'm, no. <laughs> but I'm I gotta say right now that from the outside looking in, I'm happy that I'm not the fucking drunken idiot right now. Oh no, there are no <laughs> drunken idiots. Seriously, you just have to cast your ballot. You just have to. Oh yeah. I'm saying. Oh man, what Actually, were we talking about? What was the focus? What we California. Were... Oh the yeah the election. The That's right. Yeah. Uh, we want to refresh this page. What's going on? Ah uh, yeah, refresh it. <laughs> Wait a minute! Some, somebody mentioned cocaine a little bit ago, and then you guys just dropped it. And I'm like, yeah, I, I got a little excited. I got a little excited. I'm sorry. Oh. Listen, <laughs> pump the brakes there, Hunter Biden. All right, we'll get there after the election. Well, looks, like, the hat. looks like Trump's got a few more. Uh, yeah, he got up to I one really, a week. Oh, I do. Him. Once again, I genuinely want Hunter Biden to have a nasty coke habit. That way, when his dad gets elected, he can be like, oh, fuck yeah, my dad's the president. I'm getting fucking... 
I don't hey, care if they're announced. Fuck it. I don't care. Whole Mexican mafia storm. Hey, Bush was hooked on coke for a while, so you know. I mean, yeah, well, that would be. Yeah. Well, I would rather the son of the president be high on cocaine than the president himself be eating <laughs> pharmaceutical amphetamines out of his desk drawer. I yeah yeah. It's not like that's probably how about never that taco happened. bowl though. Oh my god, I would love. You know, I would, hang on, I'm gonna take. Hang on, I'm gonna tip my. I'm gonna tip my election cop ad here because oh I'm god. a detective now. Well, what I'm trying to say is like what I would really love to see though is like the Trump family frantically evacuating the White House like they were finally getting evicted from an apartment and they didn't want the evidence that they'd done anything wrong. It's like, get no, 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 all of the pills, all of the, the yellow ones, the blue ones are fine. You get the yellow ones, can't be seen. <laughs> Just sweeping drugs out like your junkie friends. I want. Oh, yeah, yeah. I want that to happen in the White House. I want that to happen with the resolute desk. Watch, watch him find a jar. Imagine in, this in the White House. Oh in, yeah, in, in the president's quarter, like a, a jar of like some really good drugs. Imagine um, this: they go in after he's been sworn out. He has to fuck off. He has to leave. Sworn out. I actually, he actually <laughs> actually leaves and doesn't put up a stake. Imagine they're gonna he make him swear he won't come back. Imagine, <laughs> imagine <laughs> he just fucks off and doesn't put up a bullshit stake. Uh, and they go in and they, you know, try to like, you know, fix everything up and make it look all nice for the next person coming in, and they just find a jar of fucking amphetamines. Just oh, yeah, every let's fucking, party. Oh yeah. Just okay. every fucking over the counter amphetamine that you can find because he's too stupid to find people that are under the counter. Like well, <laughs> how, how do we know that's not like a welcoming nope. gift, you know? Well, you no, know, no, I no, would no, find no, that to be a yeah. welcoming gift, but well, I don't think that's in Joe Biden's parameters. I would I just think think that, no, I would think that as the actual well, we don't know it's not. Cruise, no, the actual construction crews, as they go through this place, when an actual construction crew on a federal grant and a, dic- and a, and a, like, and a deadline finds a jar full of amphetamines, no, those won't be reported. Everything will just be no, done no, well no, ahead no, of time, no, and no one needs jar. to ask any questions. Nobody's going to know about the jar. Nobody. What jar? What jar, jar are you talking about? The jar is on a need-to-know basis. Exactly. Need to What's know. It? It's like, hey, are you rebuilding this shit? Yeah. Are you illegal in this country? No. <laughs> Does Great, someone want to uh, like explain the popular vote and electoral votes to some of our Canadian view- viewers? They're confused as fuck. Can oh, somebody? My- uh, yeah, but you have to speak in Canadian, so you have to say a. Oh, and- hey, yo, I yeah, no, yeah, the the the, the electoral Sorry. votes and the the popular vote are no, two that's different like- things. Okay. That's Minnesota. I can't. It's not that far off. It's really, <laughs> it's really oh not that God. far. Oh my God! There's some Canadians I know right now that might peacefully come over the fucking border and <laughs> shake their fingers somewhat vigorously. They might be really. They, they might be a little terse with me, and I yeah, might have to might be a little concerned about there. it. But uh, I'm sorry, telling, yeah. but uh, Minnesotans be- and uh, the Canadians are not that far off. You. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> New Hampshire is safe because everyone knows if you're in woods that do not belong to you, you will be that shot works. by the owners. Popping in quickly. As far How's as I'm concerned, so anybody that sells so, so. in their state belongs to Canada. Thank you, Irish at work popping in quickly. How's it looking so far? Uh, it looks like yeah. Biden's doing okay. So far. Yeah. We're fucked 2020! Aren't you? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You know, who is producing this? Can you not can you not give my green screen something to work with? I don't know. I, I thought I could, but then I remembered I was just joining. No, no you board. have to pipe that in yourself, yeah. you fucking. I have professor. that power? I can yeah, edit your name, that's about it. Well, yeah, no, that's you. Yeah, you should have right you 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 put that in your writer <laughs> before he came on the show. I mean, we've all, you know, gotten certain requests made for us and I everything. And tell Mel that I was not going to be any good for any of this, any which way. But she should try to help me, and she said, "No, you should fail, and it'll be hilarious." And I agree. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that was right. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. I, I says you well, need I... to say a more, and you got it. 
I I, I bought sorry. the I I bought the green background because it, it could look like a you know interrogation room you know you're on duty you know in the Canada. Wow, that's 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 oh no, hang on, no wait. Doctor Rosso says we can't come to Canada now. Shit. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, we haven't been able to go to. I know. <laughs> I'm going to come to Canada now just because you said I couldn't. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not, the, I'm not the one with the legal obligations as far as uh, not being able to go to Canada. You know, but even, I, even I if Trump even if Trump loses this election, he could still be elected in 2024. A lot of people are already throwing out Donald Trump Jr. Plus, yeah, you've got no. that. No. Plus, you, no, no. no. Plus, you've got that Trump brand out there. You've got the wacko militants that are driving around pissing people off on I the freeways. Mean, sure. You know, and they talk about you know. But no, it it the whole Trump <laughs> thing isn't I mean, going we could away. Spend the next four years just kicking them off the bridge. I mean, I'd be for that. I got a feeling it's going to be Tom Cotton next time. I think oh. he's gonna be. I'm like, I'm super, I'm super amped for a fight. Like, if you guys, you know, put it on Facebook at least. Like, I'll show up and just. I want to see you. Sarah Palin, Michelle Bachman ticket in 2020. That would God, be hilarious. No. no. Yeah, it wouldn't be good, but it would be hilarious at the very. I, I want to see all... those two go head. I want to see Sarah Palin and uh, Michelle Bachman go head to head in the debate. On, um, <laughs> see which way they. I don't know. I'm, I'm weird. I just think that would be. It would be uh, funny. Yeah. It'd be funny. The way you've taken the Lord's name, you're not a real Christian. The way you've you know? taken the Lord's name in vain. Yeah, no, that I like that. That's good. Oh, Yay, she's Canadian cool. now. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I Sarah didn't hear Palin. <laughs> Have you heard Sailor Palin talk? I don't know who Sailor Palin is. Yeah, she sounds a little bit like that. She's a little bit drunk most she of the time, but she might say her name like that. She went rogue. Yeah, I know that's probably <laughs> why some of her kids <laughs> came from them. The guy, I, uh... I can see Canada from uh, my backyard, yeah. She can see Russia. Uh, she can see Russia, too. That's why she I can see a... Russia and her, Canada. It's, yeah, it's her... right over the border. Yeah, she said... Uh... I, I shot on the moon. <laughs> Her I international shot, I shot some moose while I was really drunk. It, it might have been the mayor, a, but a uh, I'm pretty sure it was a moose. Our family's famous for getting a drunken fucking fights and shit. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got in a fight with my uh, my son, but that's not a big deal. Yeah, that's such a thing that happens up here. I remember when Biden slapped her around in that debate years ago. That was pretty funny. That was pretty funny. It was a much different Biden, but yeah, he was he was a little more with it. But you know what? <sighs> At this point, fuck it. <sighs> May as well. But you know, I I have this beer here for a reason. This this bottle is empty for a fucking reason. My mommy's here. <laughs> Good for your mommy. <laughs> My mommy's here and she's going to restore order to the force. No, she's not. Yeah, she uh, will. Disbeliever. Her Heretic! Just because, just because, because you handed off a copy to her of your book. We had a great time together. You spoke to her for literally 20 minutes. Had her in a hotel room. No, I'm just not saying no. Listen. Yeah. What? Excuse me. What? What I'm trying to say was it was, it was intimate. We made no, a connection. No, I, I guarantee we a, you. We had a philosophical bonding. Yeah, mind so, bonding. You know what? I uh, I know when you're bullshitting. The fact that we're not going to have President Tulsi. I don't we're know. We're not going to have doing. President Tulsi because uh, she did not stand up. She, she, she stood did. up a lot. I saw her. She stood up from when we were talking. And yeah, no, no. Physically, <laughs> yes. But in the, in the political square, she... Uh, oh, she going to try and... Oh, backtracking, I think. Yeah, no, she, no, 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 that's I not what that her. is. I understand your ilk. I get it. I, I, I've been a dozen of the internet for a long time. Uh, shut the fuck up, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Rick, he keeps making a ketamine I, joke. I just keep thinking. Ketamine? Oh, fuck. Someone uh, Rizzo says, I'm surprised you guys aren't hopped up on ketamine yet. Oh, fuck. Uh, that oh. sounds like a bad time to me. I've never done that. Whoa. Yeah, that, that's super easy. I don't have ketamine. 
Ketamine? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. It's one of the ones that I've done that I've never done because I've heard other people like talk it about sucked. doing it yeah. and it sounds like a bad time. Fox uh, News. Uh, it, it can go either way. It yeah. just it sounds like well for me I don't like dissociatives and it just sounds like that it's it's really oh it is insane. yeah yeah are you a fan yeah. of hallucinogenics uh kind of as long as they're within the realm of natural hallucinogenics so like uh, acid and psilocybin is fine but it, research chems no oh acid's not natural acid's sure, is more naturally- natural than a research chem friendo yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's fine <laughs> even acid was a research chem at one point a while ago but as far as like the research chems that got scheduled like five years ago no yeah like tce tcb <laughs> yeah TCI. no none of those i'm good they're all I, fun. I highly we, recommend it. I went to a <laughs> rave once at an, uh, an amusement park that got shut down because somebody did, uh, I think it was 2CE, and thought they were doing 2CP. And uh, one of those things is dose sensitive. <clears throat> yeah. And uh, they did not know that. And they uh, yeah, I... <laughs> they had a bad time. And the cops got my, called. My first psychedelic was 2CE. And, uh, yeah, and we were getting double doses. It was fucked up, but <laughs> yeah, the first but, uh, the first uh, hallucinogenic that I had any sort of uh, experience with was a research chem that a friend of mine was experimenting with because he was a, a major dealer in the area at the time, and I got it for free because he was trying to get people to take it just to make sure it was pure. That's the best. I uh, yeah, and I got it for free. So. I went home and I took it and it was uh, a bad time. It was a super bad time. Yeah. It was a really fucking bad time. <laughs> and then later on I did acid and it was way better than that. <laughs> it was way better than that. Holy shit was that a bad time. Any research chem that I ever had any sort of experience with before it got scheduled uh was the worst it was the absolute worst including anything that had to do with uh spice or k2 or any of those things that were sold in gas stations at the time or the pure form of it which i was very familiar with which is uh jwh or jwh 15 or 18 at the time first time i did acid i did too it's a purple micro dot and I had a wonderful fucking time. Yeah, uh, acid's fun. I mean, <laughs> I stared at that time. I acid's stared. At, I stared at this curtain that had light being shown on it that had a green tint from a plant in the room. Yeah. Uh, I was look. I mean, for like, uh, God, it seemed like two hours. More I'm like. Sure that, I'm, sure, I'm sure that green was the best was green the, you ever saw. It was the most amazing shit I'd ever ever yeah. seen in my life. I used to have a tapestry. Uh, a wall tapestry. It was kind of a. Uh, it had mushrooms and and unicorns and stuff, and it was kind of uh, you know. Great artwork, I'm sure. Yeah, it really was. But and, and this is true because this other guy did the same thing. When we weren't on acid, we didn't see it. But when we were on acid, both of us saw the same little fucking little little dwarf guy, or or whatever you want to call it, in the corner of the fucking tapestry. He described the same fucking one that I saw. But well, that, was a, that, that was a thing about I had a particular uh, poster that I had bought, uh, yeah. which was like a, a poster of like Star Wars characters. And it was like all of the Star Wars characters that had ever existed. And uh, when you got down to the front characters, they were supposed to be really detailed. But I noticed that Princess Leia's face was like really fucked up. And I only noticed that Princess Leia's face was really fucked up while I was on acid. Yeah. Like I sat there and I looked at it for a while and I was like, the proportions on this is all fucked up. Like this is the worst. And what's beautiful <laughs> is when somebody else sees the same fucking thing and you don't have to describe it to them. They describe it to you and you're like, ah! Well, I had it in my bathroom and then I had somebody take acid in my house and they went to the bathroom and they came back and was like, what the fuck is up with your Star Wars poster? I'm like, I need a, right? <laughs> we had I had a party one time and in our bathroom. We used to do a lot of drinking, like like game, like drinking games, or sometimes you have to take a lot of shots and stuff. 
So yeah. we used to we used to leave the whole and plus we were doing acid. Uh, we we do acid and like drink a lot and then like get six of us and we play like Uno with like uh, the the wild <laughs> the wild <laughs> cards from the the wild cards from like twenty decks. So yeah, just, every Uno you, on acid sounds amazing to me. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> any anyway, my bathroom. The whole thing was don't close the door all the way um if if you're tripping because there was a uh there was a a, a full-length mirror like a a, a door mirror and then there was and then there was there was a big um medicine cabinet mirror thing and then the shower door thing had kind of a it was there were a lot of places you could see your image and when you're tripping, you can see yourself like 30 fucking times, oh, right? Oh, yeah. You see every fucking pit and crater in your face. Yeah. You see every wind so in your hand. Like we had, we had this guy go in the bathroom, and this guy was tripping his nuts off, and he had to take a leak. <laughs> so, As you do. Right. So anyway, we start hearing this fucking screaming and shit. <laughs> Somebody went in there. He closed the door, man. This guy's in my fucking bathtub, like, freaking out. Yep. <laughs> we had to talk him out of the bathtub. It was like, holy shit. Oh, no. <laughs> Told you no luck. So, yeah, we, we, oh, we'd we see, we, we'd literally seen each other. We, you tried not to look down the hallway because, you know, nobody wanted to shut the door or yeah. turn the light on because you get to take the light from the hallway. Because if you started looking around, you'd start seeing yourself and like, oh yeah, them. no, bad time, yeah. Oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> At that point, you're having a bad time. Oh, uh, but we thought it was funny. He didn't, but you know. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, is that like, uh, luckily, uh, like as far as I'm concerned, when it comes to like recreational drug use, uh, this is totally unmonetized. I uh, like uh, oh, yeah. recreational drug drug use is concerned. I've always been on like the lower end. I've been, I've been within the parameters of still being Functional? cognizant yeah. of what's going on. So, like, whenever I did acid, it was, like, a tab or two. Whenever I did mushrooms, it was way less than anybody else. Whenever I did amphetamines, it was way less than anybody else, just to make sure that my brain was still there. And, oh, man, the only time I ever had a problem was going to the bathroom and going to wash my hands and looking up and looking in the mirror and going, oh, fuck, there's all of the imperfections in my face. Uh <laughs> God, I've driven down the New Jersey Turnpike hoping that uh, I, on so much fucking speed that I, I just like hoping I didn't have to stop. Uh, oh, hoping we, when I finally oh. got off that some of this would be down because my hair would be up, right? One morning, yeah. I had to go to the bay. I stopped at this truck stop. And I'm like, I know I have to get something to eat because I'm not going to have a chance. So I oh, went into yeah. this Burger King, right? I am fucking, I'm, I'm like speeding my fucking nuts off. Yeah, everything's honestly, vibrating. I, yeah, <laughs> honestly, I have no business driving a truck at this point, you know? No. But I had you the need a four fucking cylinder vehicle, but not a truck. <laughs> like, yeah. So I, I bought me like a croissant. And it was like 10 times the price because, you know, the New Jersey Turnpike. Gas station food. And I thought, yeah, and I thought, you know, get me some orange juice and, you know, like maybe that'll help and some coffee. And I had no, the hardest orange time. Makes it worse. It oh, makes it worse. Jesus, yeah. man. <laughs> I hope I don't have to stop, man. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm not a role model, folks. Never have been. No, I remember. I remember. <laughs> like that's that's very similar to a story of us coming back from uh, Brooklyn because I'm up in Connecticut. We we're coming back from Brooklyn. Uh, I was just a mystic. Uh, we we're at a rave down in Brooklyn in the uh, warehouse. District. And we were coming back, and uh, I was the one that was supposed to be the designated driver. Yeah. Uh, I don't have a license. Still to this day, I do not have one. Not because it was taken away. I have never had one. And uh, we were coming back, and we we're coming out of Providence. That That's what it was. We were coming out of Providence. That was the rave. We were coming out of Providence, Rhode Island. And... We got off the highway and we had to get back on the highway to go back into Connecticut because coming out of Providence, Rhode Island, going back to Connecticut is a fucking ordeal. I'm very familiar with Providence. I live about 20, mile, 20 minutes away. Okay, so getting into Connecticut 
and then going all the way to New Haven and then north of that. Oh, fuck. Is an ordeal. So we were, we were coming out of Providence and I came out of the warehouse district and we're, we had to go like northish and then get off the highway and I pulled off into a 7-Eleven, which 24-hour 7-Elevens. And I pulled off into a 7-Eleven and looked everybody in the face that was in the car, including the person who owned that car, and looked at them and went, hey, so I'm like, I'm sober, uh, but I'm tired. I have night blindness. Uh, we have to drive, like, several tens of miles across a state right now. And... Uh, this thing has an issue with the, like, the, the way this car steers. Like, I'm not used to driving this. Uh, are one of you sober enough to drive this? And the owner of the car said, well, I'm tripping fucking sack right now, but I probably could get us back. And I was like, okay, well, you guys go in that 7-Eleven, eat a thing. We're going to sit in this parking lot for a while. When you feel okay, jump in the driver's seat and we'll go home. And we drove, oh, like, tens of miles until I, I passed out in the backseat after having had, like, all of the amphetamines. <laughs> yeah, I... Uh, oh, that was time. <laughs> I learned really early, though, that if I'm going to do... If I'm going to trip, uh, I need to stay exactly where I'm at. Because... Uh, I ended up at a 7-Eleven one time, and uh, well, there was, if, there was, if it would have been for my friends, they would have called the police was, on me. There was two <laughs> times with this exact same person where we drove all the way back from Providence, Rhode Island to just north of New Haven. Perfectly fine. And also, as I had spoken of before, Brooklyn, uh, where we drove home from Brooklyn, New York in the wee hours of the morning all the way back to Connecticut and then north of New Haven without an issue. Well, this person was fucked up. Like, he was tripping. <laughs> he was so... Well, you, you always make your best choices when you're in that fucking position. Well, you know? well I mean... the thing is, is what I noticed with a friend of mine who a year ago when I had uh, a Acquired quite a bit of acid. Uh, quite a bit of acid. Uh, I acquired it. Uh, decided that he wanted to try it, uh, and I told him, "Okay, well, I'm going to give you one tap because you've never had it before, and I'm not going to make your day uh, be a bad day." Uh, I gave him one tap, and we sat there, and he was like, "Okay, this is fine." Okay, we're gonna play video games. Like, this is cool. Okay, we're gonna go out on the deck. Like, okay, this guy looks cool. Oh, fuck. I forgot I had to do a thing. We have to go to the bank real quick. So we had to go to the bank real fast. Yeah. And for anybody who uh, remembers hallucinogens, uh, numbers. Numbers. Change. On hallucinogens. <laughs> <laughs> so he had to remember what his account... I told him to write it down before we left because I told him, like, look, you're not going to remember what numbers are. <laughs> you're not. You're not. <laughs> and uh, I was tripping at the time, but I had also only done a tab and I had uh, done number. it for a while. So at that point, I was like, honey, uh, write down your account number. Uh, write down your routing number if you need it. Uh, after this, you can send it through the shredder, but, uh, let's, you know, we'll, we'll drive up the road real quick. And we drove up the road real quick and then came back and he was like, this was the most stressful thing I ever had to deal with, which was driving while tripping fucking balls. <laughs> because the thing is, is while you're driving and anybody who knows what driving is, is that you, that all of this is muscle memory. Like you... You know, like, you have to hit the accelerator a certain amount. You have to brake at a certain time. You have to, like, maneuver the car a certain way. These are all things that you generally know. When you're tripping, these are all things that you're very aware of. But not necessarily. All at either. once. <laughs> it's 
kind of recommendations though you know it's not really uh... no don't do that don't drive yeah. while you're tripping go home sit down listen to some stuff trip I on have, your own don't I go have, anywhere <laughs> i have i have sad news to deliver to you all what's well, like, no very sad news about the american election um incumbent uh south carolina potato man lindsey has been reelected to the oh, u.s yeah. Senate. well he's gonna die like tomorrow so it's fine <laughs> oh no he is in perfect health this man has been injected with so Have many you seen him? he's been injected with the t virus he's you know it's not I know that good. mitch mcconnell you were thinking of yeah they oh, both yeah. don't look zombified. good I have <laughs> I have Fox News live right now, so I know the truth, Missy. Okay, <laughs> what I'm trying to tell you is Lindsey Graham here. He's he's just so happy that he survived, and he's gonna suck whatever president got might be next. How hard they want it, no matter what. That's Lindsey Graham, y'all. South Carolina can't confirm. Oh God, yeah. wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I got it. Wait. <laughs> This, I, now, I, I tried. I, admittedly, I wasn't yeah. tripping. However, um, when my and my wife's mother knows I've told this story too, so I'm, I won't get in trouble. But um, when my my wife's mother uh, in January, this is right before the COVID hit, uh, she went back to Florida to visit her sister and her uh, husband uh, for like a month right after her, you know, my uh, wife's father had passed away and everything. So uh, uh, we're my wife and I, Mrs. Lobster, and I uh, were going down to uh, TF Green Airport in Warwick to pick her up. And before we left the house, I ate like 40 milligrams of these little edibles. And I first I was going to take 30. But see, now you have to understand, Anna, I normally eat, I, I normally start at like 100. OK, so well, I'm one of those people where edibles doesn't do shit. Uh, well, anyway, so. I get in the car and we get to, by the time we get to the airport, I'm like, yeah, this is going to be really fun. Uh, so we get, we get to the airport, we get back in the car and everything. And uh, it was windy as hell. And just anyway, we're in the car, we get on the freeway, we're driving towards Providence uh, in Rhode Island. Uh, where, oh, no. Yeah. Anyway. So those highways, shit. we get on, we get on, we get on 95. Yeah. And uh, I, I look at my mother-in-law and I, uh, I say, you know, so how was your trip? You know, kind of, you know, go, you know, I act like this in front of everybody. But so anyway, she go all of a sudden. And this is a woman who never talks about politics, religion. She knows my my view, you know, and stuff like that. But Whoa, she does no, but jump. Sorry. One of those but, kind of people that's like, whatever. But she doesn't she doesn't like get into it and stuff. She never brings any of it up. Yeah, so I'm great. asking her. So what was the best? Or uh, no, I said uh, notice. Because she said she should have kept cut her short uh, trip a little short. She felt like she should have stayed a little short. So anyway, so all of a sudden I'm I'm like just poking at her, you know. So what was the part that you made you convince yourself? And all of a sudden she says, "Oh my God!" She goes, "Every night," she says, "I got introduced to Tucker Carlson." Oh my God! And she'd be like, "Well, I don't really get in. This guy lives and dies on Tucker Carlson's every fucking word." And like I said, for somebody who doesn't ever bring up, it was one of the most uniquely, I don't know, just amazing moments when somebody who's, who's not political, doesn't get into that stuff, gets like almost ambushed on a, a daily basis uh, about Fox News and Tucker Carlson. Uh, she, other than that, she had a lovely time, beautiful people. But when the news came on, which was all the time, Holy shit! It was like Fox News Central and Tucker fucking Carlson. Uh, uh, so, so did Biden just win California? Was that that yep, big? Yeah, Biden he jumped up to two oh, old. Biden, Biden took the West Coast. So I'm trying to do the actual math. Oh, oh the out. West Coast went blue. Imagine. No way. Two oh seven to one nineteen right now. Colorado went blue. I'm oh, geez, Shan you know what? Shanny for Christ is going to take credit for that. I'm uh, gonna say, as she like, should. Yeah. That's... Well, I'm going to go ahead and say, though, like, you know, a, a, a nightly, like I said, uh, if Biden wins tonight, then the mail-in votes and all of the other ones we still have to count, which will take weeks, 
they'll just probably secure his victory. Um, I'm curious about like the Senate though. <laughs> like, are the Democrats actually going to take over the government? And if so, can I start being mad at them now? All right. So uh, uh, to yeah. the second question, yes. <laughs> um. Uh, it looks like it looks like the Republicans are bum, up by one bum, seat. Bum, 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 currently. Bum, bum. No, no, well, I'm looking at Fox News. Democrats, new 44. Republicans, 40. Remaining undecided. Undecided. Hmm. How's it going to turn out, Lex? Lex Friedman? Oh, wait, he's not in the stream. Sorry. I... Drugs. Oh, I Tommy Tuberville fuck. flips Alabama. Is, is, is Charlie Kirk doing a live stream right now? Can we peek I'm in sure on what he is. he's doing? I would love to see it. Who is Charlie Kirk? Oh, very good question. Thank you. It was well thought out. I, I thought about it uh, for uh, quite a long time before I actually asked it. Mm. So I wanted it to be special. Oh, he's going to be a big name. Big name, I'm telling you. Hey, can you hit? Go ahead. Can you hit? Can you hit Rhode Island? Here's the fun thing: a, a Trump defeat would actually have an Obi Wan effect. The R I, yeah. There it is. Who okay, doesn't? Yeah. If you strike me down, I will become more powerful than you can imagine. He's gonna go off to some dipshit cable news style uh, media empire, and he's going to lead legions of thoughtless morons down the path of undermining every civil institution we have, simply like, because it did not make him God Emperor as he wanted. It's like AON well, He's network. already got that 35% block. They're just going to follow him no matter what, too. Oh, so. yeah. oh, yeah. Well, he's been chosen by God himself, personally. Yeah. Trump, Trump and Trumpism is going to be more hilarious if it loses in this election than it would be if it won. So basically, yeah. I did the math. If like Trump won each of the states, he would get 283 electoral votes, and if you know, like all these just turned to the color they are, Joe would get 236. This is honestly this election. As I watch Fox News, this is the most intense Apex Legends match I have ever seen. <laughs> right. <laughs> Frankly, I think 2020 has done me a service and a disservice, but I tip my hat. And bow my head to it. So, Text. Okay, so question um, for everyone. So if, if Trump manages to, to pull it out again, do the Democrats learn anything no. this nope. time? No, 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 no. If the Democrats win, they still don't learn anything. They'll fuck that up, too. Trust oh, me. Oh, for sure. Trust. Oh, God. If a Biden administration with a supermajority comes into power... They're going to fuck it up. They'll fuck it up. What's oh, yeah. funny, though, is that the GOP, in my vision, is now going to be sort of fractured. You're going to have the Trumpist movement, and then you're going to have the neocons. Mm -hmm. The evangelicals will not know which way to go on that. And then, so the sort of all of the little parties that the conservative coalition that is the American right, they're going to, then they're not going to have any cohesive vision anymore. And they're going to factionalize. But under Biden, under Biden, the left is going to do the same thing. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And so, it's going to be beautiful. Oh, my God. So Might we actually see can... a, Go ahead. a breakdown of, of, of the bullshit two-party, two-faction system? May we actually see that start to happen? I doubt it. It'll be fun. So for all of our confused Canadian friends, you win by electoral votes. Yes, so that's you can all that basically kick the like kick the other part, the party's ass with popular votes. That doesn't matter. It's electoral <laughs> votes. So. That's why yeah. Hillary wasn't elected and get impeached yeah. and have all the fucking uh, hearings about her because if she would have got elected, the same thing would have happened. Yeah. You know. So yeah, so it's like I think Joe's going to have to like get some of these big states. To most well, likely, I believe Fox is reporting that 
Florida has gone for Trump. Most likely, because he kind of pulled ahead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah 98%. So. Yeah. Yeah, he uh, he had to have that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Trump, this... Trump took over in, yeah. Trump took over in Texas. See, Texas is going to give Trump that. Tr Texas and Florida are going to put Trump back in the game, won't it? Oh, yeah. Well, you yeah, have it. Texas he... is really in play. If he wins uh, yeah. Florida and Texas, it's pretty much a guarantee, almost a guarantee win, especially if he wins each of the other states like Pennsylvania, which he's actually pulling ahead a good bit. Uh, Michigan, which he's pulling ahead a good bit. Um, so, yeah. yeah. So, so we're looking at Donald Trump getting reelected? Pretty much. Looks like it. Yeah, it, well, I mean, even though still Tex I don't know, Texas yeah. has been polling really blue the last few years. So, yeah, it's, yeah, but, it's just it's still at seventy four percent votes counted, but yeah, Donald Trump's leading with fifty one, Joe Biden forty seven. So, yeah. wow, I am, I am personally very much okay if this country wants to fuck itself up this much. <laughs> You know what? I'll take my seatbelt off and I will watch as the voters just press the foot down on the gas. I'll take a few deep breaths in and I'll be like, yeah, this is going to be fun. Yeah, well, it's, it's been, been real, the fellas. biggest problem with Trump is that it, it it's the same over and over again. Like, there's no new bits. Right. So, like, <laughs> <sighs> From what a about, kind of joke standpoint, I'm, this I'm is a lot of Trump jokes because every well, speech is the same. That's the fucking tragedy, Jables. That's the fucking tragedy is because if Trump isn't elected out of office and he doesn't have to go and become a TV personality, there's no new material. Oh. I mean, until the, you know, more people die. Um and that's funny as fuck. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, that, like, you know, we really need to buckle down and think about what's important here. Now, if we're going to have anything left of actual comedy, we need to. Well, if co if COVID keeps killing old people, at least we can have Social Security back. Whoa! Silver, silver lining. <laughs> Strong <laughs> argument. Holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I I guess I wasn't thinking in a policy minded perspective. Thank you, Jay. No, that was brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. No, you, you brought me back from the brink. <laughs> I was about to get yeah. radical there. Any, but then I realized yeah, like any, I don't like my time. grandmas. <laughs> All my grandparents are dead. I don't give a fuck anymore. Oh, exactly. I've been collect <laughs> listen, I've been I've been uh, feloniously collecting grandparents uh, social security checks for years and uh I'm proud to vote for Donald Trump because he's going <laughs> to get that thing so much they'll never find out. There ain't going to be any oversight. It's going to be wonderful. I can collect my Mima's checks right up until she's 250 years old. No one's going to know. Thank you Donald Trump. I want to kiss you on the mouth. You told me you would at that rally, but instead I just got COVID. But hey, listen, if I recover, <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting that money. Thank you, Trump. Glad I voted for you. Back to you, Jack. To him one of those big checks. Yeah, back to you, big check. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of maybe lost the plot on that one, but that's all right. Listen, we're all correspondents. <laughs> 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 We're all correspondents on the same news team here. We are here to um, you know, unearth and identify the real roots of this election. Now, what I'm seeing here is that Donald Trump is going to be president for the rest of my life. I have a Trump. Uh, now it's only one eighteen to two oh nine. So, well, like like I said, it, if if they oh, if he wins I'm all these states like it's projecting, he's going to pull through. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I was just reflecting on my job as an election cop and thinking I'm probably going to kill myself tomorrow. But I'm, I forgot no. I was off duty. I'm not allowed to talk about that now. Oh, what I'm yeah, talking yeah. about so is, I, yeah, no, Donald yeah, I, Trump I, I is going to be president of Florida forever. <laughs> now I'm starting to think we need to start trading out Florida men for Russian gun enthusiasts, just to spice things up a bit. We can teach Russia how to be a little more. 
unexpectable. And, uh, you know, Florida will learn more about how to blow their friends up. Just keep the Russians away from Burger King. (laughs) I'm not hearing a whole lot of pushback on this one. (laughs) (laughs) You know what? Florida's fucking I'm saying. It can't go up. Florida always does its own thing. Oh, my God. Can you believe Mississippi is going for Trump? No. That's, you know. (laughs) Why did we have to to draw the border walls around Mexico? Why not just do it around Mississippi and Louisiana? All of the mailings, all of the mailings were done in pictograms. Understandable to Mississippi people. I'm not saying they're terrible. I'm just saying that maybe we need to absorb them into a smarter state. I don't know. I'm trying to just listen. If we can make... I like the idea of 50 states, right? I think we need to make Puerto Rico, Guam, and D.C. states. That way we can absorb stupid states into other states just to make states. Like, there don't need to be two Dakotas. Gone, right? Okay. Okay. So there we go. We freed up a state slot. Bam, Washington D.C. <laughs> well, why don't we? while we're at, while we're at it, let's join the Dakotas, join Wyoming and Idaho, and call it the uh, "No one cares about you" state. Like the let's great just super state, the great state of no <laughs> the one. The great cares. merging. No, the great merging is at hand. You must adapt <laughs> and overcome. Learn to live with the great merging. It's happening to your states. You will be able to travel highways of untold lengths. And the prophecy is being well, like, fulfilled. Oh, yes. Like, what does it say about the fact that when it comes to Idaho, the only thing I can think of is potatoes? Like, oh, I don't know. Probably because of your inherent racism. But uh, what I'm pointing out <laughs> we are on the brink of a new revolution. Because also, we can I mean, have more there... island states. No, imagine this, though. If Puerto Rico was an actual state, and we'd be like, hey, I want to go to one of the island states. It's like, oh, my God, American Samoa? Wait, no. Hey, I would a state. state. Oh, wait, yeah, also, we need to fully ingratiate American Samoa. Give them the vote. Give them, like, tax the shit out of them. Make them understand what Hawaii has been through for all these years. Now they would, we, they would make our they would definitely make our Olympic weightlifting team much better. You know, best have a bunch of fucking large Samoa Samoans on our fucking oh, team. Yeah. Let's do it. We're gonna take Midway. We're gonna make it a state. I don't know if it's an island or not, but I'm gonna say like you know, if not, why not? I'm serious about this. Listen, I want America to win this election. You know, <laughs> I'm not I'm not prepared for a Joe Biden or even a Donald Trump to take my vision of global domination down one inch. And that's why I want you to, to just basically ignore all the pundits. Vote for your heart and say, does, any, toxic does myth- anyone else get the sense? Does anyone else get the sense with this election that's like you're too grand? are running against each other there's like the one who is at one point with it and then there's the other one that had a stroke and uh and he just says racist shit randomly and wonders why people are offended that's why i feel like that that's our election right now if you have a problem to choose between me and just trump like, and I had, you're not black i had both of those grin listen i've been told i'm not jewish simply on account of that i don't believe in god I'm not gonna let that get in my way of throwing that in people's faces. Well, what's your credit? What's your what's your credit score? I can test if you're Jewish. Oh, my snipped off penis, my friend. Trust me, I've been <laughs> very no, credit, credit no, score I've been brought true. into the tribe, and the most the blood sacrament has been made. And for some reason, God what? said, "Hey, no foreskin for you, son." And I got that. Yeah. And let me tell you, I've been ordained by God to tell you. That my dick points in the direction of what I know is best, and what I know yeah, is best. I, I is do, as is your best. Lord and Savior, Jables Christ, I'm telling you, everybody in America has their dick stamped. Dog shit, <laughs> carpenter, lateral move to being the son of God. Anyone can do that so long as you don't die of thirst in the desert and you come back and get a big enough mound to preach from. Listen, Jables, I'm all done with this Christos. Magicos thing. What I'm trying to say (laughs) 
is that you know i got my dick where'd you get this guy and um (laughs) and i think that affords me a deeper sense of the american electorate than most people are willing to afford me now as i'm looking at fox news here joe biden has only been in michigan 41 percent of the time and as such my dick's never coming back now (laughs) if we're really going to dig into this whole electoral map situation you need to remind yourself how much nerve ending is remaining versus how much is taken away and that's why we need to look closely at iowa once again and wait for these mail-in ballots to come back to you chuck yeah Uh, i'm not even gonna fucking play this game tonight (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> why not well, most most nights i'd be okay with it, but i think i've had too much to drink to play Fuck. <laughs> maybe, maybe in a little bit after i eat some food but <laughs> you are such a cunt jables my god <laughs> if anna was here she'd hold up her end of that joke oh yeah i'm sure she would. i'm also the only one on camera right now yeah yeah. Does that mean that I technically own the Geek Show? Sure. Like this is by design. Stock and Barrel. Well, our our new. I'm just trying to figure show. out. Listen, I'm trying to figure this out like a new cell phone here. I need to know how to navigate this ownership that you've given me. You know, yeah, you don't navigate it; it just navigates itself. Oh, you get to it, be well, the first, white. First thing you, first thing you need to do is you need to hold okay. your hand up. It's okay. You can say it. It's idiot proof. <laughs> I love every time I hear that. You guys have what you get is being a control biggie group is all of the appeal of Hannibal and Monty and none of the melanin or actual hilarious black humor. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> yeah, but what's the crypto value of that? I'm not looking to own, I'm looking to trade. I mean, what you lose in humor, you gain in white privilege. So Ooh, I feel like well, that's 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 listen, 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 listen. I need Can't to figure out how this election works out, but I'm as far as I can tell, according to Arizona, that shit's still worth its weight in gold. So you want to <laughs> exactly. those statements back a little there, homeboy, or we're gonna go doubling down on the day trade market? What we're thinking, what I'm thinking is, is that you know. You got to realize what white privilege market you you're in. Are you in an Arizona market? Oh, I'm so uh, diversified. No, I've got the most diverse white privilege market you can imagine. There are Irish, there are Scandinavians. I've got I've got English and English Scottish mix in this thing. Listen, you don't need to talk to me about this, Buster. Like I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm trying <laughs> to ask you, what are we going to do about the future? 2021 is barreling down upon us. The election map, it's full of emojis. I don't know what to make of this. I need you to guide oh, me through yeah. this and my clientele. By the way, if the the Geek Room now is actually a um, it's sort of a, a crypto financial guidebook. You know, it, we're basically like CNBC on our <laughs> better days. Now, continue what you were saying. I lost my train of thought. Well, <laughs> then clearly you're not <laughs> ready. <laughs> oh fuck. I'm like you're going on these royal rants. These markets know. are. Yeah, c- congratulations. Oh. Now you know how I feel every these, time I try to run these, a bit with them. These, these <laughs> markets are so volatile. I don't even know what to say about them. I'm trying to bring in experts like you. And the fact that you're not aware, listen, I would say dump all of your stocks in a, the top ramen penny stocks the only, right now. The, the only no. thing, the only thing I'm going. an expert in is evidently my hipsterdom because I'm a white dude that takes his pit bull to breweries. That's. That's evidently where I sit in the Best in Pitbull Breweries. Now, also, you heard it here. Pitbull Breweries. Pitbull Breweries. The guard, you know, like, you know, the, like, listen, once Joe Biden is elected, we are naturally going to have a second prohibition wave. Now, we got to get ready and we got to breed these pit bulls to defend these breweries so that the black markets, their markets, we can, they could survive a turbulent time like a Joe Biden president. Uh, sir, African American ready. Market. Oh yes. Oh, yeah. African American markets. Um, we got to invest in weave shops. We got to get ready. We got to get ready. We got to read. We got to get Luke Cage back on Netflix right away. And what I'm saying is that, like, you know, it wasn't my idea. This is the geek room speaking. I'm just here as an analyst. I'm analyst ing, and I hope that this has been healthy for you. Invest heavily in Fox stock markets and wait for the election to become. 
I wouldn't listen to the election cop if I were you all. Back. No, oh, I'm off duty. Back to you, Charlie. <laughs> Oh god, we might be coming to close in a minute. So, yeah, like, uh, uh, so is it? Am I seeing correct that Biden does appear to be winning? Are you out of your mind? We can't stop now, sir. <laughs> there is an yeah. entire Jesus. election. Listen, I have literally green screen to my own green screen on my own green screen, which is why it looks sort of out of sorts. What I'm trying to say is, I am here. Spectacular analysis, SAG contract, 44 an hour. I'm asking you to keep going for at least another five hours. Uh, the invoice will be in your Gmail. No, but I what I'm saying is, we don't know who your president is. So the interest <laughs> rates, who knows what that is? You so right now, if, more. if Trump wins each of the states that are red, he will win. Leaning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. $55 in my pocket. <laughs> Wait, so he'll so basically if he wins Texas, Florida, like if he wins the entire red, he yeah, wins everything that's leaning right now um, or the entire map. Yeah. No, the everything that's red leaning like Florida, Texas, North Carolina, Georgia. Oh yeah. Uh, some of the other bigger states like How the fuck? Winskin, How the Wisconsin. fuck is our country so retarded? Big time. Uh, no, we listen. Uh, hang on, listen, Buster. We've made, we've spent two centuries Buster. refining this <laughs> retardation that we call democracy, and the we've been working to undermine it for a long time. Okay, we have figured That's out true. the ins and outs, and right now we're just trying to figure out. We're stress testing it. We're just trying to break it and see if we can fix it again afterwards. If we can't, whoopsie daisy. Hey, China. Why don't you come on over and rule us for a while? My point here is that you disrespect and you seem to just don't you. Why don't you believe in President Trump winning the country and bringing it back from the brink of destruction to which he brought it to? Why not? I don't even know if that was a sentence. No, I was a very, very, very long sentence, sir. Very long sentence. There, there were was some verbs. To run on. There was a subject. There was an object, but I'm several, not sure it was an Several subjects, sentence. objects all over the place. I'm asking you to focus here, sir. I'm asking you a question man to man, one paragraph to another. Can you defend Alaska actually voting in favor of New Mexico being allowed to continue existing? <laughs> I'm glad you guys can finally see what I have to work with. <laughs> 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 I ask these serious questions and no one can give me answers. <laughs> this is why YouTube is in the we ch He chased off Sam. Holy fuck. <laughs> just what. Sam's like, you know what? Fuck this. I don't need no, this. No, I'm, 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 here trying to get, I'm here trying to get to the real truth, fella. Okay? I'm here trying to dig down deep beneath the crust into the gooey surface of reality that you just don't want to look at. And in the course of all of this, you're giving me the runaround about electoral maps. How's that work? By the way, that was uh, that was our other Jewish friend. Yeah, this is why you don't invite Jews on the show. I've heard about <laughs> it. <laughs> I just asked Sam, like, did he break you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. That was terrible time. Sam, Sam may never be the same again. I mean... <laughs> what? Listen, this election has been traumatic on all of us, and I don't think one person getting to take all the credit for the trauma is fair. Okay, so Nick, here's the thing: yeah. the the massive conflict that's going on between Alaska and the Earth's crust is definitely going to bring a harder a harder bend towards a Biden win. But when you look at the that's mantle why... oh. and and Texas's influence there, that might actually lean more towards a Trump win. Are you just trying to sink parts of the Earth into the ocean? Because the ocean is technically part of the Earth, Jables. I don't see the difference, and I don't know why you do. We can have underwater voting; it's fine. Well, yeah. To well, I I always as long as you know, I always, as long you know I always vote for fighting the for finding the city of Atlantis. I'm just saying, it, I'm, having them be a part of this country that that way they can vote because they don't see what's going on on the surface level. They if, only know what's below level. That way, Atlantis had their chance. Will always win. 
Oh, well, listen, if the government can't actually, you know, manage to deliver mail through the ocean, I don't want it doing anything at all. Now, apparently Biden has taken Arizona according to Fox News, and you know that's true because they would never report it unless they had to. (laughs) So, that's fun. Welcome to the Biden presidency, everyone. You all get trains now. (laughs) Listen, I didn't pay too much attention to the Biden candidacy campaign pre- pledges. I knew he said, like, hey, I'm sorry about fucking you over on the crime bill and the bankruptcy bill and the student loan thing and basically just voting for anything that gave uh, lower level civil courts as much power as they wanted. Sorry my about bad. that. But listen, I forgot all about that because my mind has escaped me. See, And all I'm thinking about is petting my own younger self's hairy legs. Under the resolute desk, I watched Obama do that. I got to pet his legs, and they were, they were very soft. Now, all my final pitch to you, the voters, is please vote for me, Joe Biden, because Joe Biden will be better than Donald Trump, and that's all I got to say. Yeah. What about the Senate and the House yeah, races? What is uh, the Senate? We'll check that before we uh, dip out. Ah, uh, Republicans jumped up to 45, Democrats 44, uh, and the right. 51 for the majority. House, they're going to get seven Democrats, 137 Republicans. Oh, fuck. States, uh, well, that's just really? my state. Oh, this is going to get interesting. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, we've already been told we can forget about hearing about COVID anymore. Uh, we can. I'm. I was sick of it. Listen, I just wish all the people who had COVID would die off, so I don't have to catch it from them. <laughs> Solid plan. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. Listen, that's why I vote Fred. Red, no matter Fred. That's what we said on our side of the bed. Ugh. Solid political analysis here on election night you brought in. I am so proud of you. It should be. I I, I green screen to green screen into my green screen. How about that? I I did this because I didn't want Fox to take my thunder. Apparently Arizona is going for Biden, which means what? Oh wait, no, I can continue calling Arizona retarded. Okay, good. <laughs> I mean, you could have done that either way. I would have done it either way, yeah. Thank you, Sparky. Back to you, Janice. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, do what we always do. We want to shell out people's channels. Um, oh, my God. Nick, you want to shell out your channel? Oh, yeah, please go and what and, and be dismayed by what I do over at Wizard of Cause on YouTube. Also, three nights a week on YouTube and Twitch, I uh, do a thing on Laughing Scoundrel Podcast. That's a terrible name I chose for it, but it's been a good show I've been doing for a while. You can check me out over there and find out exactly why I don't get invited on more shows. Um, That's all available. Links are down below, I'm assuming. I'm assuming. Oh, I'll get them. I must get... Oh, yeah, I'm assuming. made an ass. My assumption was correct. It's going to be all correct. Go down below. Go and get those fancy links. Jump on those things and be like, hey... Keep give keep keep giving it your best because never gonna work out. But we'll stop respecting you if you stop trying. That's what I count on you, Pablo Cabor. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, every Friday at four thirty p.m. Pacific Standard Time, seven thirty p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I stream live on Twitch. Uh, just a couple friends. We avoid politics entirely. So if you guys are fed up with po- politics, just catch out some, just catch some weird news that has been going on, and uh, and a few friends hanging out. Um, that's twitch.tv slash luscious sense of discord. Definitely go and check them out. Uh, the vods are also available on YouTube. Uh, just search lesser sense of discord on YouTube. All right. uh, lobster. Yeah, they're crampy. Yeah, I'm still here. You know, my uh, channel, I can't live stream on my Grampy Lobster channel, but Uncle Lobster is out and uh, go subscribe to Uncle Lobster. He's just got permission to start live streaming. So, uh, yeah, uh, and and I'm so glad I got really stoned tonight and met this 
uh, person, and I really love that shirt, man. Um, I really do. I do too. I wish I knew where it came from. Who are you talking about? Your how shirt. Can we, how can we track him down and take his shirt? We can split it up the middle. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm willing to work for half the shirt. Oh yeah. Half the shirt's better than a quarter of a shirt, man. Oh shit! Yeah, no, I lived that way for a while too. That's rough, brother. Yeah, <laughs> we do what we can, you know. But hopefully, uh, my links. Well, my links are in our Discord, uh, and uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not assuming anything with the gate crew because uh, you're supposed to get uh, SAG wages. Uh, fuck, they won't even give me thirty bucks that they. Uh, I <laughs> and you believe it? Well, no, they're they're uh, practicing. They're they're you negotiating. Have to complete the work. No, to, but see, you have to negotiate. But you have to negotiate first before. You know, I mean, uh, anyway, uh, really, I mean, questionable business practices. I don't know if I'd trust them. Um, and that goes without but, saying. Yeah, but other than that, uh, so I won't assume that my links are in the fucking bottom like you are. Oh, uh, no, you have to presume it and insist upon it, sir. Well, that's true. We got to look uh, out for each other now. We're past nice point of civility. I'll I'll do this shit for free, so invite me back anytime. I don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I do it for free. Um, you were just bitching about $30. <laughs> well, it's because you guys brought it up after the I, fact. I, I, I'm trying to grow. <laughs> you brought it up after the fact. I mean, God, man. I'm just, watch him, man. You know. Oh, very serious, sir. Yeah. Very. So anyway, that's pretty much it. If I, I don't know. Um. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll make sure both of your links are in the description. Big time. So nice. Look at him. He's a good guy. All right. Who's um, next? Who gets to say fuck off next? Uh, I mean, all of our shit's linked below. I think everyone knows the drill by now. Uh, you want to support us. You want to follow yeah. us on whatever form of social media you're into. It's all linked down below, I guess. Yeah, it is. Right, Frank? Oh. Is our uh, own yes. stuff linked? Yes. Final, final word, though, by the way, guys, election night. Listen, if you haven't gone and voted yet, go tomorrow and vote. And if they don't let you into your polling location, you just break the fuck in. That's your legal right. Yeah, you bust up into that elementary school. <laughs> <laughs> you go vote. I don't, I don't want any excuses. Democracy is on the line, y'all. You got to break right. into whatever buildings you can. Good night. Good times, man. <laughs> God bless America. Da, 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 da. Right. Back to you, Paul. <laughs> now that's your line. Never mind. I'm sorry. The positive message.